this is Forever Skies. We've got ourselves a sponsored stream from the team Far From Home, or well, the Forever Skies squad. Uh, you can buy the game now, 25% off on Steam, from the link that is tagged in the video description or pinned as a video comment in the live stream chat. Or I guess you could ask me for the link and we can throw one out there. Just be sure to check out the link and, you know, show them that uh, I, I sent you to go take a look at this game. Yeah, the latest update adds advanced airship gardening. Gardening, yep, that's that's my kind of thing, isn't it? New mechanics, locations, and more. It's a sci-fi open world set above, well, kind of the clouds. There's a little bit more to it than meets the eye. It's an ecologically ruined Earth. It's uh, You have like a giant airship thing you're kind of managing, so I'm sort of excited to dive in here. Uh, again, uh, be sure to, well, I guess not again, for the first time, be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. And I hope you guys enjoy the magic. We have a Discord for uh, for stream alerts. And uh, yeah, pretty exciting. Oh, I'm, I'm dead on time today, amazingly. I'm getting really good at these PC stream setups. Did it snow here? It actually didn't end up snowing here. I'm guessing, it, or apparently it's snowing tonight or tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm kind of looking forward to that. It's locked? Not anymore. We arrived at the source of the signal. Well, that's kind of a cool opening. You get, like, this really desolate-looking, uh... City structuring from a drop pod. It's raining where you are? Are you in Canada land there, Sherry? That's surprised you're getting rain. Symptoms of a virus activity detected. Apparently my basic health is failing. Nobody likes basic health failing. Anyways, yeah, it's it's always fun to dive into a new survival game. What's going on with the, uh, kind of the performance there thing? Is that like a V-Sync thing? What, what, one sec here, I'm, I'm gonna... Quality presets, epic, motion blur off. Well, you know how people hate their motion blur. I'm just gonna go on the mouse keyboard one sec right now. FOV, frame rate, unlimited V-Sync. Let's just turn that off and see if that actually... Um, Helps with that. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, there's like all these, like, I want to say they're sort of like spores or something like that. Great gameplay. Oh, thank you. Newfoundland. Ah, oh, okay, I could see that. The Newfies uh, always have that bit of weathering issues. I could see that because I'm like, where would you be getting rain where it's like snow everywhere else? Makes sense. The air looks nasty. Well, you know, when you're an ecological or on an ecologically damaged earth, uh, it's not the best for breathing in, eh? Yeah. Hey, look! It's a dead guy. Hey, wait one sec here. My, my PC is whining. I don't know if that's because the game's demanding or if Chrome is trying to liquefy me. No, that's that's just the game is uh, kind of getting my PC to put it in a little bit of an effort. I'm not used to my PC having to or PC ever having to try things. Take the solid state battery. Why is there a solid state battery inside of a? Well, I guess it makes sense if this is like some sort of radio thing. So I take it in this universe, the atmosphere of Earth kind of just like. The gravity just kind of peeled away. That's kind of cool looking. I sort of wish there was more of a 
I feel like there'd be like a whooshing air sound, right? Okay, power of the computer. Right on. It's locked. Can I like punch my way through? Oh wait, okay, so we came up here. Maybe I'm supposed to run around this way. Is this the computer supposed to power? Oh. Oh, there we go. Does that mean this door will now magically open? Find a way to depart the location. Aha! Look at me all clever. Well, I know these survival games, you gotta grab everything you get. Yeah. Well, regardless, you know, it, it never hurts to take a look at the... the Steam link there and, uh, you know, check out their Steam page. It's, it's an early access game, so they're gonna be updating it over time. Finish building the airship. Place the fabricator on the airpod. Okay. This makes my life a lot easier when it's got mouse and keyboard, or controller support does the long side mouse and keyboard, right? Okay, so we got the transponder. Craft the deck extractor. Ooh, okay. Where does the deck extractor I got? Oh, look, there's another dead guy. Huh. The irony of dying beside a med pack. There, there is something funny about it. Do I drink this dirty water? Sure, why not? I will bottle the dirty water. There we go. Now I can have dirty water for myself. Craft the deck extractor. I, I thought I did craft it. Is it my inventory? In canned oxygen tank. I thought I crafted it. I'm glad you enjoy my content. Thanks. I work tirelessly at it, believe it or not. Place on your warship. Or my... <laughs> my warship. My airship. Cannot place inside. Oh, so I have to, like, place it outside? Do I place it on top of my airship, or at, like, the bottom of it? On the outside. Is there a way to, like, rotate it, like, the other way? You know what I mean? Like, make it so that it is, like, hanging off the side of a wall? Do I put it on the outside there? Oh, I put it, like, here. Okay. Is that gonna... Use the deck. Extract the obstacle blocking the entrance to the workshop. To over there? Is is that working? Yeah. Hmm. Hi there, folks. <laughs> there, yeah, that really does just look like. Ugh. I like the ambient setup though. I find that like a game really has to like set itself up for a good spot. You know what? Actually, might be a good idea for this game too, just so my PC doesn't cook while we're doing this. Let's, uh, cap the frame rate at 120? Yeah. I think that's good. Maybe we should cap it at 60. You guys can't even see above 60, can you? Because we're streaming, obviously. Yeah. I just don't like to hear my PC loud and complaining about life. Okay, so synthesis. All right, so extract the obstacles blocking the entrance to the workshop, which is what I thought I did. Or is there, is that? Okay, that's one too. Interesting, so this is like collecting this for me? All right, extract the entrance. Oh, okay, so we gotta get this stuff. It makes more sense that it would be here as opposed to the other area, but how am I supposed to get this stuff if my thing is not in the position to get it? You know what I mean? Because I can't... Unless I'm supposed to move it to this side. Can I... Can I move you? Oh, I can pick it up, I think. Ah, okay. There we go. Here we go. There! That makes a lot more sense. Are you kidding me? I still can't get that stuff over there? It's like slightly to the edge? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's, let's try this again. I'm gonna... Kind of organize it like this, and then kind of... I, I think literally pointing in that... Yeah, there we go. Now it's pointed in the right direction. How am I? I'm pretty good today, honestly. It was like a pretty great day for me. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of... Like, I, I got up, and I was like, okay, you know, I had to do some, like, business calls and stuff. The 4090 not good enough. No, it's, it's just like, I don't like to hear it, like, put in an effort. As odd as that sounds. I don't, uh... When I'm streaming, I like silence. I mean, I could 
kick it into high gear, it's only using like 20% of my GP or something like that. Like, let me let me take a look here. Yeah, it's it's not really using much of my GPU. Actually, the OBS is using more than usual, which is odd. Hmm. Wonder why that is. And then I'm getting screen tearing though. If I'm capping it at 60, that's so odd. And the screen. Well, we turned off VSync because it was creating like an odd. Oh. Okay, that looks fine now. All right, this is good. Pick up. See, that's the thing with PC. You gotta play around with settings so much more. And then they have this talk of like putting Steam and stuff on the uh, the Xbox, and I'm just like, I feel like people would have really struggled with that concept. Diablo, Diablo Four is great. Did you not see the Diablo Four stream? It was a lot of fun. I, I had a great time streaming Diablo Four the other day, and yeah, I, I love Diablo Four. My review of it's very positive. Anyways, like I was saying, like I got up and uh, they're like, "Oh, you know, let's uh, let's get a sponsored stream," and I was like, "Yeah, let's do it." And then my CIBC, because I've been having issues with CIBC and Costco, getting my CIBC card for Costco for like four months now, I think. And uh, they called today. They they fixed the problem, so they're sending me my new card, which is great. And then. You know what else? It was, it was just kind of like a lot of things were just going my way today, and I was like, sweet. I think I got some stuff I was looking for, and yeah, it was nice. It was it was a good day today. I had to, I had a lovely day. Yeah, hi there, folks. Will this run on a 2070 Super? I mean, I would imagine it should run on anything. That the whole, so the whole point of PC. Well, I mean, you you have to check their Steam store to make sure you have the correct like specs, obviously, for like minimum things, but the whole point of PC is you can, like, virtually run anything on a wide range of different stuff based on, like, your adjustments to this, the settings and whatnot of the game, right? Pick up the research station from the workshop. Is that a research station? I feel like I missed something. Is this the... that's not it. Oh, over here, okay. Let's see what we got. Machine parts, machine parts... And this giant rig thing. Okay, so we got this going. Let's grab the solid state crap. You never know what you're gonna need in these survival games, right? Take the research station. So do I get to like fly my little like airdrop thingy eventually, I would imagine? This is like a very tight room I have to deal with here. It's like a little 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 space. There's no right ways to build your little airdrop, I, I think, right? remind you of Starfield, it might be the crafting and the building. But it, this is more of a just a straight-up survival game, right? Consoles? It's all about the PC, man. Okay, so I got the research station going. Research the scanner. I take it this will allow me to scan and learn about things. Insert a lure into an insect catcher on the airship. There, I, you have to catch insects to eat? You. Where's the insect lure? Okay, I added a membrane. Is this like a open the lure container? <laughs> oh, so we're catching insects to eat. Yum. Okay, so I guess we're gonna we're hunting bugs to to snack on. Lovely. Lovely. So did my scanner get crafted? Or oh no, I gotta go to the crafting thing. Oh, it's a 3D printer in it. 3D printers were like the greatest technology for developers because they're like, oh yeah, well we could just have a 3D printer like do everything nowadays. It's genius. Alright. I have to lower the lure. I want to catch my insects. I will say the controller controls work really well on this. Lower the lure! Catch me some bug snacks! Check back in a while to see what the insect catcher has caught. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Little little tight container area, eh? Very, very tight container. WWE, the servers go down? That sounds more like a take two thing. Can you play this solo? Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. I think it is just single player to my knowledge, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they'll do multiplayer stuff later or something. Oh, oh, I caught some bugs! I got some bugs, guys. I got some bug snacks. What is that? 
Dust lettuce. Yum. Just what I've always wanted. <laughs> dust lettuce. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> give, give, give me some of that dusty lettuce. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that, that keeps you... Keeps you full for days. Dust lettuce. Okay, so check out the studies menu. Finish building the ship. I don't see where a studies menu is. Oh, I can make a bed. How do I expand my uh, environment here? Craft a water purifier and place it on the airship wall. Water purifier. Water pur. Okay, there we go. It's uh, it's, it's getting really, really tight. Hey, there's there. I didn't get to eat bugs. I had <laughs> dusty lettuce. Yeah. I mean, you you could. Can't you download the PC app on a Steam Deck or something? I, Microsoft's working on some handheld configuration stuff. It'll it'll be better for you doing Steam Deck Xbox stuff in the future. They're they're working on it. Okay, so pour in dirty water. Add dirty water. You. Okay, so it's gonna purify the water. I don't really check the studies menu though. Oh, okay. I see. It's in my back button. All right. Okay. So, communication ruin synthesizer. Uh-huh. Scan a synthetic cluster floating in the air. Why don't you guys scan the like button? Subscribing great. Uh, consider becoming a channel member. Patron option. There's a Discord for stream alerts. And again, this is a sponsored stream, guys. So, be sure to check out the link in the video description or in the chat, and it takes you to the Steam store if you want to check this game out. And it is 25% off until April 11th. Mmm, yeah, I know, right? Steam st store sales and deals, what can I say? I need to find a synthetic cluster floating in the air. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Research engine and fuel. This is a, a pretty intensive tutorial. Engine and fuel, okay. Take the clean water. Oh my god, guys, I have clean water. I don't have to drink the green. I I don't even know what I want to say. The green whatever it is, it's it's ugly looking. Yeah, the ugly green stuff. You. Yeah. I don't know, there's there's lots of we'll have lots of cool content coming up here too. I got lots kind of on the go. It's, uh, it's, it's been busy, busy, busy. So should I have, like, a second water bottle? Water condenser. Oh, well, that seems like something I should probably have on my ship, right? Oh, and an engine. Wait, I haven't researched how to make an empty water bottle? Wow. I, I think I'm getting a little lazy, eh? Yeah. Oh, I know what that's. I was wondering what that sound was. It's my lure has caught something. I was sitting there. I was like, "What is that sound?" I was like, "Is this the game?" I was like, "Oh, okay." I I don't. Can you? You're supposed to bring me bug snacks, not uh, dust lettuce. It's it's disgusting. It just keeps giving me dust lettuce. Why would it keep doing such a thing? Oh, so I got to put this on the outside. Okay. So, requires condenser membrane. Do I have a condenser membrane? I don't have- I need synthetics. This kind of makes me think of, like, Synthetica from, from Metric, eh? You guys ever hear that? It's a, it's a song. They, they have a great acoustic rendition. It's it's pretty, pretty top tier. Let's go throw that out there. Yeah. Did it already catch more? <laughs> lettuce. Yeah. I just can you give me anything but condensed lettuce? Raw food isn't as good. Well, I mean, you, you get what you get. I'm not Chef Ramsay out here. Okay, so we need a condenser membrane. We also need. I feel like I'm being a little lazy about this. We need to get the engine going so that I can, like, get out of here. 
insect catcher. We already have one of those. An engine. I need more synthetics. Okay, let's let's get some more synthetics here. Yeah, a little little ship here just shooting these big things out of the sky. I actually this game has like a really neat kind of vibe to it. Like it's like a very familiar survival game, but it's actually kind of really different and sort of creepy. Huh. Like there's something about the the floating crap that's like really just kind of eerie looking. Can we go over to that beacon of light? Oh, there's some stuff I haven't seen before floating towards me. I need to capture this. My question is, uh, will this stuff like run into me? Do I like Enshrouded? We we streamed Enshrouded when it came out, which was like I think a month ago, right? It was kind of fun. I mean, I think some of it was a little tedious, but I liked the uh, the voxel destruction that you could do in that one. I thought was really interesting. This engine is taking a long time to produce. Hmm. Is it done yet? Oh, there we go. Oh, we're gonna strap an engine on the bad pack of this bad boy. Uh, that's, that looks silly. Can we we can't put it down there. Should I put it like? Is this part of my airship? Oh, okay. So it's not gonna like light the top of my airship on fire, is it? Okay, we need to craft some synthetic fuel. I want to lure more bugs, but I'm tired of getting uh, dusty lettuce. Small storage box, an empty bottle. Hmm. Requires a membrane. I thought I just... Oh, I see. Alrighty. So what happened to my little... I thought I had a bottle of water, did I not? Old canned water. Yum. Okay, well I want to move this to my inventory there. Can I do that? Split stack. I press X. And then I press X over here. But Oh, maybe I'm supposed to press X and then press A. No. How do I drink this water? The South Park Snow Day. I honestly did not like that game. I've been playing it today to work on a review for it, and I was just like, I genuinely do not like that South Park game. I will have a review for that um, in the near future. Oh, I'm not holding X. Oh, that's the problem. I wasn't holding X. Okay. Got it. So now I can depart the location. But I want to, like, drink my water. Oh, maybe that's not it. Why isn't that going to where it's supposed to? Clean water. Oh, okay, so I just drank my clean water. Old canned water. Ah, I see. I see. So can I put it... Bottle requires a bottle. I don't have any more bottles? Okay, one sec. We're gonna depart this in a second here. Empty bottle. I need synthetics. Alright, I'm just gonna get some more synthetics, and then we'll go and depart this location to go visit a new place. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I got some synthetics. Yeah, I gotta have a water bottle, right? I don't want to get thirsty. How many synthetics? 19. I think that's enough for a water bottle, I believe. Oh, I need 25. Apparently a water bottle is a very condensed piece of synthetic uh, material, allegedly, I guess. Which is uh, not ideal. Okay, so... What is that floating thing? Are you a synthetic? Yeah, I've got 30 synthetics now. I love that there's just floating crap in the different distance that you can kind of gather. Okay, so we'll get the water bottle. We'll get the dirty water. We'll start cleaning the dirty water. And, uh... Then we'll... Yeah, let's let's fly. Can I... I, I guess I gotta, like, turn this on, don't I? Okay. Oh, no, it was on. I just turned it off. Ah, oh, my bad. Okay, here we go. We're flying. Is there, is there a third person control thing? Cause I, uh... oh god. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm flying. Can I, can I go into third person? Find a cure for the virus. Save humanity. 
Okay, one sec. I, I got. I gotta see if there's like a controls thing so I can do third person here. Move forward. Inventory. Toggle HUD ability. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't specifically see that there is a uh, keyboard binding. Fly forward. Uh, I don't. I don't see that you can change to third person when you're flying. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well we'll just we'll just we'll make it work guys. We'll we'll make it work. Yeah, this this will be fine. Okay. Well this is kinda cool. And you you're just kind of like flying in the air and you have like this little airship. Can I expand this airship? Because this is like tiny. Hello there. See, I see a beacon over there. Let's let's go to this beacon. I, I think that'll be the spot where we should head. This is over here. This is really intriguing, actually. So we're like in this little airship, kind of making our heading over here. Ugh. Although I would feel like ninety percent more comfortable if I could go into for, into third person on my ship, because I'm never aware of like my surroundings. Is there a way to, way to like, increase my speed? I, I'm only going, like, 12. I'm, I'm assuming you need another engine to go any faster. Like, I'm assuming I have to craft another engine. Where do you think on Earth we are? Like, old Earth, where do you think we are positioned right now? Hey, look, there's all the book snacks. We've been looking everywhere for those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's bug snacks. Okay. Land on the location with the single flashing light. Like that one or this one? Oh, this one has a single flashing light. Am I like... Am I good on this? How do I land? Okay, I, I take it I should move a little bit more over this very majestically. And just kind of like... If I go down, do you think I'll just like... Well, that worked. Did my water clean yet? Ah, oh, look at that clean water. Check out newly discovered objects in the studies tab. Okay. A flashlight. Maybe the, they don't have. Okay, what? Research station. Okay. Explore all the discovered options in the radio tower tab. Scan and... Oh, scan all discovered. Okay. Well, that's scanned. These are garbage cans. Let's grab some plastic scraps. That thing we can salvage. Okay, well, we got these parts. Good thing people left all this crap on the roof. The hell is that? It looks like a... Oh, it's a moth swarm! Oh! This is a very different take on apocalyptic Earth. We got moth swarms going on. Find a location. Research the airship builder. Oh, that's exactly what I want. I want to be able to expand my little... It looks more like an air taxi at the moment as opposed to like an airship. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of depressing looking. Okay, I need more synthetics. One sec, I gotta jump up on my little synthetic thing. Can I, like, synthesize the moths? My water levels aren't looking great. I gotta collect some of this crap here. Some metal. I need some synth stuff. Oh, there we go on that. So I'm like, what if we run out of fuel? Well, I guess you can't really run out of fuel. There's stuff everywhere, right? Hmm. Okay, what else are we missing? Out of range? Oh, we didn't go up there. Okay, one, wait, can we research this now? So there's, there's a lot the game's kind of throwing me at, or throwing towards me at the moment. I'm just trying to Get it all going. Okay, so I'm gonna climb this weird 
set of lily pad stuff and grab things. Requires fabricator. Oh, what do we have here? This looks interesting. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we got that. We got a door that somehow still works. Oh, I didn't need to craft it. There was literally one right in this room if I would have been so lazy and missed this. I just explored here. Old food ration. Yum. I don't know. I, I kind of like the vibe of this one. I don't, I don't know what you guys feel like, but kind of cool. Okay. Uh, Where's that ration? Can I eat this? There we go. Old canned water. Yum. So they just kind of like send me to Earth and they're like, good luck. Oh look, there's a dead guy. What is this? A flashlight. Oh, I guess I didn't actually scan all the tools I was supposed to scan. Drink the dirty water. Mm, uh, no thank you. So do I have to have a new bottle every time I drink water? That seems like a lot of work. Okay. Was there anything else I didn't scan here? Radio tower variants. Completed, completed, completed. Mmm, says I did it. Maybe there's other variants I'm supposed to see? Yeah, it's, it says I've done them all. Okay. Interesting. Find a location with double flashing lights. Really living on the edge there, eh? Look at that. It's, it's kind of like a little... It's got like a beautiful style to it, honestly. Okay. How do I get down from where I am? I don't want to fall off the weird plant thing and into the abyss. I did play normal, so, you know, it's, there's a good chance of death. What can I say? Okay, so did we research the thing? We need a flashlight. Okay, so I need to craft the airship builder. Where is that option? Water purifier, airship builder. So I need more synthetics. Okay, let's, let's get ourselves some synthetics out of here. Yeah. Any other synthetics in the distance? Don't mind. Like, is that... Do you think that... Should I try to catch food? I'm gonna... You know, I'm, well, I'm gathering synthetics. I gotta, I gotta see if I can catch any food right now. Oh, I ran out of uh, lure? Okay, here we go. Insect lure. Oh, the path is obstructed. Oh, look, it's raining. So rain still works on Earth. God, I need to redo this. I just, I don't have any room in my little tiny airship. It's like, there's no space for anything. That's why I want to build this, uh, this builder so I can do stuff. Deck extractor. I need slightly more synthetics. I'm not synthetical. It's a, it's a song. Again, it's a metric song. I like that it's raining now. Hmm. To really just sit here gathering a whole bunch of synthetics and then I don't have to think about it for a while. You ever do that in a survival game? Kind of like overload your crap just so that like you don't have to go and gather resources later. Okay, so that should be... Is that enough synthetics? It is. Okay, good. And then I'm assuming with the builder I'm going to be able to actually like build and like put new structure so that my ship is in a tiny 2x2 two two kind of thing and I can actually like put stuff around which would be ideal. The two flashing lights is where we need to go. I got the builder. Okay, so now we can build the build menu. Oh, I can build a room guys! I can build a room and a catwalk! Oh yeah! Invalid position. Okay, so I could put it here? I don't see how this builds a room, but okay. Uh, do I have to build like a like a basement or build menu, plastic wall, a catwalk? Oh, I see. Okay. Not enough resources. You've got to be kidding me. 
Well, is, does that count? I think that's just the outside, isn't it? Remove mode. Okay, so we can remove really easily. Because I'm like, how do I build like a new literal room? Plastic walls. Build a wall easily damaged. A room! That's what I want. Okay, so I need more synthetics to build a room. Yeah. Well, you know, you do the best you can to uh, to attract new interests for new streams and stuff, right? I'm wondering if I would have more luck going over there to where those dust bunny synthetic particles are. Alright, are we powered on or are we out of fuel? Because I'm like wondering if we should make more fuel before we like get out of here. I don't want to randomly... Can you run out of fuel while you're like, you know, in the air, like mid-flight? Can you just like run out of fuel and your like airship just like falls down and you die? Because that would be really tragic. Okay, how do I exit that? Okay, there we go. Okay. Bam, okay, so we got lots of fuel, we're good. How's this going? Drink the dirty water. Mm, not if I have to. Alright, let's, uh, let's fly off. Ooh. I wish we could do third person. Diablo. The, 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 the bad reviews, they, they, they don't know what they're talking about. Don't worry, it's a great game. I, I highly recommend it. I have, if you haven't seen my glowing review of Diablo, it's it's really extensive and it's it's really awesome. Seriously, my Diablo review is pretty great, and I did a Game Pass Diablo review too because I thought it would be good to like, um, kind of retouch up on that stuff too. But uh, yeah, no, it's a great game, Diablo. It's easy to recommend. At least I think so. Right, there we go. Okay. Do I have enough synthetics? I want to build another room so everything's not like super claustrophobic. Is there any like theoretical- wow there's a lot of crap you can gather here. This is like a farm of resources. Yeah. This is a really good selection of resources. Hmm. Okay, okay. So can I build a room? Locked by equipment. Damn it. <laughs> That's what I get for putting an engine on this thing. <sighs> okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta we gotta go land somewhere and then we can add a room let's go to the we're supposed to go to the double place for it thanks man but yeah i, I think you'll really like diablo it's it's a great game people saying otherwise be crazy is, is that a double one or to be honest i thought the orange light and the white light were kind of like one area this will throw me off a little bit yeah. We're going 14 kilometers an hour. Here above this lost place of Earth. They do a really good job of like a sense of like scale and creepiness, right? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, off we go. I'm sure when we add a second engine at some point, this thing's gonna just go. <laughs> I think we are technically going fast. It just doesn't feel like it because we're like in the middle of this swampy crap everywhere. I'm excited if we ever get to the point of gardening. <laughs> I love doing that in my survival games. Okay, we're we're almost. Uh oh. Our ship is getting damaged, guys. With double flashing lights. I think we're supposed to go over there. I don't know what the orange light kind of means for us. I think you're kind of like a little bit... Like, I mean, your airship's not invulnerable, so you gotta be careful about this stuff. Anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to uh, like the stream. Subscribing's great. 
If you like what you see, consider checking out the pinned comments and link and everything like that in the video description or in the comment chat so you can take a look at it and, uh, you know, obviously support the content on the channel and whatnot. It'd be great so you can see the people check stuff out. You want Star Trek re Resurgence? Uh, that game's really good. I, I hope you I hope you enjoy that one. Like I think if you're a Star Trek fan, you actually would really, really quite enjoy Star Trek Resurgence. Container not empty. Okay, turn off. Container not empty. So I actually have to empty the fuel tank. Okay, that makes sense. I, I hope you enjoy the the Star Trek game. Pick up. Okay. Can I just drop it for a sec? I mean, we can put it on the side. Oh, well that makes a lot more sense than having it at the back, I think, right? Maximum flight speed increased. Hmm. Oh, those are metals. Obviously we can't put metals in there. We almost ran out of fuel. Okay, so I think we can finally build a new room. <gasps> We've got more space, guys! Is that water? I... well, we're... we're in... Like, these are skyscrapers on Earth, because their big ecological damage thing happened. So we're on the top of skyscrapers. I, I don't know, I think it's like a swarm of weird mossy crap? Like, those things over there, those are moths, so... Obviously some kind of weird Venus-like situation happened here or something. But I'm just, I'm trying to create more room so that I can, like, place stuff, if that makes sense. Because it's like, man, I have had, like, no space to, like, actually put any of my equipment. I have been, like, so blocked. I'm out of environmental resources. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Hi there, folks. Hey, you got to watch out for bad crap. Is there any good stuff over here? You know what? Honestly, I need another one of these on the other side. Can I craft another one of these? Uh, extract collector. I need a transformer. More than meets the eye. Anyways, that's a little, a little transformers thing for you. So anyways, now I have some freaking space, thankfully. Yeah, thankfully now I've got some actual space that I can put stuff. Bam. Okay, now we're not just cluttered. I guess I could just literally move this thing to this side, right? You know, let's see if we can gather anything here. Oh, there's synthetics right in front of us. Yeah, you're supposed to look for a, a cure for a virus that's like screwing humanity over or something like that. And that's your job here. You're you're a person with a mission. Hmm. What's decreasing? Calorie level is decreasing. I don't know how much food I have. Am I gonna have to start catching some more bug snacks? Because I don't have a problem with that. Drink the dirty water. I don't think I'm desperate yet. It'd be cool if you could have like a handy, like a hand synthesizer kind of thing would be cool. Maybe scan the flashlight. I don't really need to drink the water. Is there nothing else in here? Is I don't think that counts as a transformer. Um. Oh, come on, that hurt me? You gotta be kidding me. How do I get back up? Oh, there's a ladder, okay. Because for a second there, I was like, oh, how do you get back up if I go down here? Okay. Let's see what we got here. I don't know, I, I like the vibe and the aesthetic they got going on. Oh, no. I'm dying! I... I'm dying, can I clamber back up? I fell slightly off the ledge. Oh no. How does respawning work in this? Am I screwed? I, I don't know if I can get out of here. Do I have like a jetpack? I don't know if I have a, I, I survived. <sighs> okay, one sec. I don't, I don't wanna fall down to my death again. I'm just trying to get into this stupid little hut. Okay, there we go. I collect all this stuff. I could have been really bad there. Okay. What did I just collect? Railing. Ah, oh, I got a blueprint for railing now. The technology. 
You think they would send an adventurer down to uh, Earth to try to deal with this with basic technology such as railings? This seems like a real budget cut mission, eh? Yeah. Hmm. So what, I, I can't get through this room unless I got that stuff scanned down. Oh no, there's a little opening here. This is all synthetic material that I could be collecting. Which would be really helpful if I had my synthetic gun down here. I kind of like the idea that you're just stuck taking whatever crap you can find on the top of these old ass buildings. Okay, so I should... old canned water. I will use the old canned water, because my water levels are low. Uh, condenser stuff, first aid kit. Okay, health is full now, which I kind of didn't really need to drink or eat that. Do I have any food left? Electronic parts, machine parts, solid state battery, plastic scraps. I need food! I'm gonna have to collect some bug snacks. Which I don't love the idea of. Oh, a repair patch, that's good. All right, let's uh, let's get back up there. No oh, thanks for the donation there, Sherry. That's very kind of you. Oh, your favorite Canadian streamer? That's nice. Buy some chocolate eggs. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. I just got through the calories of those. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to buy some some chocolate stuff. Thank you. Very kind. Let's do a little hard about thing there. Yep. Okay. But yeah, I, I do appreciate that, thank you. Okay, so we need to craft... Well, we need fuel so that we can do that, but we also... I want to make electric cooker. That actually sounds pretty good. Which I have a bed allows you to regenerate health. That seems really important. But I also need fuel, literally, for my engine thing, don't I? How much... How much fuel do I have? 16 out of 100. Let's, let's get some synthetic fuel going on. I think would be a good idea. So that's that. I need to research a transformer so that I can build another engine. I'm assuming we're allowed to, you know, ignore the laws of physics and, like, use one engine on this side of the ship. We don't need it to balance on the other side, or do we? Okay, well, we can do a transformer there. Alrighty, let's see if we can build... We don't have more synthetics? You've... Got to be freaking kidding me. Okay. So I made another transformer, or invented the ability to make a transformer. I think. Oh, there we go. Let's cook it up, guys. Hmm. Here we go. No, but a very happy Easter weekend, guys. I hope everybody's having a lovely time. Okay. Or has fun plans. Be nice to do like an Easter egg hunt. I haven't been able to do that in forever. Alright, I can make an engine, which is what I wanted to do, because I want to have an engine on one side and an engine on the other side. Okay. There's a lot of hot dogs. I did get to have a hot dog today. It was really good. I was very misshapen my hot dog today, but it was very good. I do think there's also something pretty funny about me getting this like brand new capture card, and it's like we do use it on like Diablo, and then today we're not even using it. Kind of funny. Where are the rest of these? You know, there was tons of these things two seconds ago, and now they're all gone. Okay, that's still being formatted. Okay, let's add another room. See, now we have literal room for stuff. I need a bed, too. That's the problem with survival games. You spend so much time doing so many things. The opening cutscene to Diablo is pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. It is pretty sweet. I guess if you've never played Diablo before, you probably wouldn't be familiar with like the cinematics. That game's got some stunning cinematics. Costco pizza. I'm not uh, I'm not into the Costco pizza. I think it kind of tastes like cardboard. I I tried it once. I was not I was I was not impressed with the Costco pizza sadly. 
I, I wish I was, but yeah, I don't I don't even think I'd buy it again. I was I was very displeased. I was like, why would I get this when I could get a hot dog? That was literally my thought process. Uh, we got that. We got that. How are you out of range? There we go. Anything else? Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of curious. Can I just pick this object up and just place it in the environment? Or does it have to specifically be on my ship? Like, can I just, like, drop this on the ground somewhere over here? Or does it have to be on, like, a catwalk? Nah, I, this this has to be on my, my thing. Got it. Okay. That makes sense. Hot dog and drink is a good combo. It's a very good combo. Apparently, we're going to get the cookies in Canada soon, so I'm kind of excited to see uh, what the cookies are like. Okay, my guy is, like, really tired. I need to make a bed. Because apparently my character is just exhausted and dying. Which is a little traumatic. And I need fuel, too. I need, like... You know what I actually need to do is build another... 3D printer to go with my 3D printer so I can 3D print more. Yeah. Kirkland, we will remember that. I just... Yeah, I, I really don't... I Like, I was so disappointed. Because everybody talked about how good the, the pizza was. And then I, like, tried it. And I was just like, wow, this is not good at all. It was very disappointing. Like, genuinely. I think it's the only thing on the menu I actually didn't like food-wise. Yeah, I'm dying of hunger now. So these are real actors? Yeah, if you're, if you're not familiar with, with Blizzard, uh, they, they make incredibly realistic, high-quality CGI Cinemax. They always have. That's like their big thing. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I am out of food. Is it blocked? Path obstructed. Damn it! I need, I I need to get so I need to get food. I'm I'm dying. Synthetic. Okay, so we need a few more, few more synthetic fuel, and then we need to fly away, and start trying to catch some bugs, snacks, because I'm I'm dying of of starvation, which is not good. Obviously, nobody wants to die of starvation. I, at least I think. I don't believe that's a goal for anybody, but you know, yeah, you never know these days, right? All right, let's let's roll. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the double lights because that's apparently a thing. Give me some bug snacks while I grab some synthetic stuff. Hmm. Crispy critters. <laughs> you you bring it up. Were, were you here, Sherry, when we, we did the uh, Atomic Heart stream? That's the crispy crit critters is a thing from that. The rogue is awesome. I recommend the, the Necromancer, personally, if you're doing Diablo. Yeah, I recommend the, the Necromancer class, because it, like, gives you support characters. I find it very, very helpful. I found me some bug snacks, guys. Let's see what we got. A dust moth. Yum. I've got a viral infection? Woo! Why is my ship on fire? Uh-oh. Build a new wall on the airship? I don't want to build a new wall. That seems like too much work. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing from that game, is, is Crispy Critters from, from Atomic Heart. God, I, that was not a fun stream, that one. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay, can I get two rooms? I still don't have enough resources. I, I never have enough resources to make anything. Okay, so if I wanted to cure a viral, and I probably need to make an electric cooker, to be honest. The rogue felt more engaging. Like I, I kind of, I tried all of the classes. The only one I didn't like was, like, the Druid for Diablo. But I've been told that the Druid's really, really cool at the current point in time. But, like, yeah, that was the only class I didn't really love was the Druid. Yeah, but I, I prefer the Necromancer class. Okay, what do we got here? 
consume rotten food. Okay, I'm just gonna wait till this cooker is. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this cooker in the environment. Probably not right beside my bed because you don't want to cook near your bed is. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take the rotten food. And I'm gonna cook the rotten food. I didn't want to eat the rotten food. I wanted to put the rotten food in here so that I could cook it. Oh no. Now I've got a viral infection and I ate rotten food. I'm gonna be feeling that in the morning. At least it's not like, what was that game called? Stranded Deep, where you're like pooping and stuff and you like die with. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was like you die from like uh, the, the diarrhea and stuff in that game. <laughs> I was like, what is this? That's, that's another survival one. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so more synthetic, more synthetic. I'm just like, I'm constantly looking for synthetic. But yeah, I always recommend the, the Necromancer class, because you just get all the stuff following you around, which I think is pretty good. Hmm. Okay. So what did we get on the lure this time? Bacterial growth from the rotten food? Okay, I'm going to take the lettuce... I'm gonna put the lettuce in here, right? Quick move. There we go. Wait, do I need water to cook this with too? Clean water. Oil. It's making me some nice toasty lettuce. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, guys. Nice toasty lettuce. Risk of dehydration. Risk of dehydration. From what? Oh my god. Is it done cooking? How long does it take to cook? Okay. Okay, so is there anything else I need to make at the moment? Ship builder, synthetic fuel. Probably good to have some synthetic fuel. Consume the boiled lettuce. Yum. I still don't. I'm, I'm not even slightly full. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that uncooked moth. That dust moth. The lure is lowered. Okay. What did I just make? Oh, fuel, right? Okay. How are we looking on fuel for these things? 39 out of 100. 98 out of 100. Okay, so we're, we're really good on fuel. We'll just top that off. Um, that thing's good. Let a condenser onto that thing. What do we catch? Level 100 before the expansion. I wish you the best of luck grinding that out, my friend. I wish you the best of luck on that. Alright, so I took the lettuce. I'll put the lettuce in the machine. I'm gonna boil that. Alright, is there anything else we need to craft before we go on to this next area? I kind of wanted another one of those deck extractors, but I'm out of machine parts. Okay, I'm gonna lower the bug snacks catching thing, and then we're just gonna go on here. The necromancer. It's just, it's a really good choice is what it is, honestly. Ugh. Look at all the moths. Disgusting. Is there, can I raise my altitude at all? Because, like, I am, you know, like, I am way lower than this thing is. Or maybe I'm just supposed to land over on this spot here. Can I go up any higher, or have I reached my, like, natural, like, altitude on this? Because, like, I need to get higher, because I can't reach that. I mean, if you don't know what it is, you don't know what it is. You just beat Banishers. Oh, how did you like the end of Banishers? Did you do all the side stuff so you don't miss out on the story stuff? I, I don't know if I can go high enough. Yeah. I can't really seem to raise my ship, if that makes sense. Is it because my ship is too fat? Like, is there too much weight on my ship and I can't, like, raise it? Because I, I need to get, like, slightly higher. I, I don't think this game has, like, a clambering, does it? Can I, like, clamber up on top of this? Hmm...
One sec here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can, like, kind of get around a little bit. Because, like, I want to get on this thing as close as possible, but I don't want to die. Anyways, guys, it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream. It's always appreciated. Subscribing is great. Consider becoming a channel member. Uh, donations like Sherry is always appreciated. And, uh, as, as I mentioned, this is, a uh, Sponsored stream, thankfully, from the developers, so if you want to go and check out the game on Steam, use the link that is in the video description or in the chat. And it's 25% off until April 11th. We take nothing seriously here. I, I don't think I can... Can I raise the heading of this ship? Because I'm like, I... I don't think I can actually, like, get up on this thing. Like, if I jump, will I die? Hmm. Hmm. Because I'm like, I, I don't think this character can clamber, right? Like, I don't think we have the clambering ability. I'm trying my best not to kill myself. You know what I mean? And it's like, I can't seem to raise the altitude at all. I'm, like, at a max. Yeah, you had a few side cases left. Oh, you got the good ascension? Okay. Well, I'm glad you got a, a good ending, because I was, like, pretty traumatized by the ending of my Banishers game, and I was a little bummed out. Should I, should I try jumping? I feel like I'm gonna, like, die. I, I feel like I'm gonna die if I try to do... Is there, like, anywhere else that's, like, more leveled that we can, like, try climbing onto? Like, this is straight up gonna kill me, I think. I definitely can't make that. Could I, like, you know what, we, we should try maybe building? Is it, can I make, like, a ramp? A railing. Blocked by equipment, okay. Because I'm like... Yeah, I, I, I don't know if we can... I don't, I don't think I can make that jump, I don't think. What about, like, if I extend the catwalk? I don't even think extending the catwalk. Weight limit reached. Oh, my ship is too fat. Well, that's not very kind to my ship. Ooh. I'm eat that bolted lettuce. Okay, maybe if I if I build another engine, can I take this higher? You know, like can I be like Creed and it'd be like, can you take me higher? 35 kg. No, it just makes my ship fatter. That's the problem, is my ship is too fat? Okay, well, what if I... Oh, I, I, I don't want a smaller ship, though. Alright, let's 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 see if that allows me to, to go higher. Okay, I, I think I'm kind of, like, stuck, though, because I'm, like, too close to that thing. Can we go any higher? No, we're having some real issues here. Okay, okay. This is why I'd love, like, a third person ship mode because my ship is also kind of damaged no it's not really taking me, me higher at all and I'm seeing smoke coming out of my ship which I don't love the idea of there being smoke off the side of my ship I, I don't like that at all I don't like that in the slightest okay I'm, I'm gonna have to take like a jump at it because I'm, I'm tired of like awkwardly trying to get on this thing Okay, let's let's see where we're at. This this seems too far. Could I like jump on top of this thing and like get on top of there? Cause I'm like I don't want to really. <laughs> I did all that work. <laughs> that's how I died. Okay, well I'll just respawn on the ship. Oh well, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal at all. Okay. Cause I'm like maybe I just. Yeah. Okay, I did it. There we go. A stranded wind farm. This is where I've always wanted to be. Okay, <sighs> research the basic what? The basic turbine. Oh, build a new wall. Yeah, okay, navigation technology. Research and build the basic turbine, then place it on the outside of the airship. Yeah. Sometimes you fall to your death, and that's how she goes. 
Okay, so I'm supposed to scan and figure out how to make research and build the basic turbine. So is this turbine going to allow me to, like, go higher? Huh. It's kind of funny, though. I'll just, like, plummet to my death. I'm like, I could do this. Do you imagine it's like humanity is, like, counting on you? <laughs> you just... Your death is you failing to jump and to, like, reach a... <laughs> in a place where you should be able to perfectly make yourself safe. It's, it's kind of hilarious. So... Was, like, humanity trying to, like, climb higher? And that's why they built all these structures on the top of these skyscrapers? Or is it just... These just happen to be, like, maintenance places on the top here? Oh, I got a circuit board. What kind of weird stuff can you do with that? Well, at least we're collecting a lot of... I think, was that helium? It's locked. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can we get in the back way? Ah, well, you can't get in the front sometimes. You can't get in the back either. No, we, we literally can't get in there. Oh, with solid state. Okay, that works. I like how it's sort of futuristic, but also, like, not, like, super futuristic either. Like, it's pretty rounded. And a lot of GPUs we picking up here. Or I, I think that's what these are, is it looks like GPUs. Canned water. That's what I'm talking about. I'd love to pick up some more rations, though. Helium fuel. Sounds like that would come in handy. Oh, I thought that was, like, an item I could pick up there. Hmm. I mean, I, I think this is kind of a cool atmospheric kind of game. My character is getting tired. I'm going to have to sleep soon again. Don't you hate when that happens? Can I not pick this up? I want to pick that up. Oh, that actually looks important. I guess we can go up and then we can go down and grab that after. That's actually really beautiful. The Digital Series X? I don't get the point of it. I, unless they can really drop that price down on it, I literally do not understand getting rid of the, the disc slot on there. Like, I don't see how that disc slot is going to save them enough money to actually, like, make a difference, but... I'm sure there's a reason they're doing it. forgot we're supposed to be scanning for stuff, too. So that is helium we're capturing. What is this? A wrecked location radar. Huh. Cool. Don't suppose there's any food out here, eh? Food would be incredibly helpful. Oh, I see there's something we're supposed to scan over there. All right, let's go scan the stuff. I feel almost like I should be using this as like a thumbnail where it's just this like chaotic world of like the clouds are just like moving by. You'd think there'd be more of like a wind sound. Maybe the suit cancels that out. I just feel like it'd be very windy. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like there'd, there'd be a good sense of like, just because the wind would be like crazier. Okay, so we checked that out. What didn't we check out? We went up there, I think, right? Remember to scan everything you see. Glass component. Really? A blockade. Researched a knife. Oh. Cool. I, I guess I can make a knife now. I'm trying to think of where that door was that I opened, because I'm like, I should probably get my uh, solid state drive back. I should probably pick it up, right? Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, it's just like... Oh no, we can't take it back? Never mind. Okay, it's stuck there. 
I guess we could see if we can make a knife. I'm sure there's something important to why they offer you the knife. I just, like, I feel really sketchy diving into my ship like this. <laughs> just feels feels a little dangerous to be doing that, but, you know, this is what it is. It's a dangerous job, what can I say? Okay, so we can... Oh, we have to research a knife. A tool charger. Oh, well, that actually sounds pretty helpful. What was that other thing we needed? A basic turbine. Increases the flight altitude of the ship. Yeah, okay, we need that. Yeah, that's actually incredibly important. Which would have made more sense than making two engines if I knew we were getting an engine upgrade. Ugh. So how do we make this? Basic turbine. Oh, it looks like it increases how much weight we can have, too. Perfect. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I thought that was a fighting game. So there's like a story in that? I guess all fighting games kind of have stories now, don't they? So can I like recycle the engine I put up or no? Is this gonna build ever? I guess I can go to bed. Printing completed. feel like having a disk drive. I, this is not really anything about like physical media and stuff. It's just like I don't see how removing the disk drive really will make them have like more value. Like I don't see how that makes it cheaper for them or anything. Like I, I just I don't understand removing the disk drive for the Series X. Like I don't see that they save that much money. The cinematic was so realistic on Diablo. I feel like everyone's never like no one's ever played like a uh like a Blizzard game before. You guys are just like, this is like your first time. Like the if you go back and you play other Blizzard games, or just like look up Blizzard's, uh, I guess you would say like cinematics online. They they make some stunning, and I mean stunning looking cinematics. I don't really want to put this because uh, I want to build my wall out there. Sorry if the bopping on the screen thing. I, I want to like. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I want to expand my ship outwards. I don't want to be, like, locked. Alright, let's... One sec here. Let me see if I can expand my area and then put this thing out here. But yeah, no, you're, you're in for a real treat. Like, the rest of the, uh, the cinematics for that game are just gorgeous, too, so I'm sure you'll be blown away. Okay. Because it's like, I want to expand the wall, you know what I mean? But I, I just, uh Can I put it, like, right here? No. You know what we'll do? We'll, we'll, we'll risk my life to jump across this area. Risk of starvation. And then we'll, uh... Fuck! <laughs> this happens every time! Yeah, their, their cinematics are literally like movies. That's kind of, yeah, that's the big thing with uh, Blizzard games. Is that's what they're kind of known for, is these just like stunning cinematics. Okay, there we go. Whew, okay, that could have been bad, but. It feels kind of awkward having that like on one side and not like another side. I feel like I'm defying some laws of physics or something. Right, I need another shooting thingy so that I don't have to move it on both sides. I need machine parts to do that. Okay. Increase the altitude and land on a location within a double flashing light. Alrighty. Let's bring it on back. Can you take me higher? Aha! Look how much higher I can go now. That's awesome. That's sweet. Okay, I do need to collect some of this crap, though. And I need to collect more food, so I'm just gonna throw that down there. Okay, I need to grab some more Synthetica. Mm, hi there. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's been a whole thing, like, literally going back to, like, the old Warcraft days and stuff like that, the Blizzard games have just had always, for each era, stunning cinematic offerings. That's just, like, that's their thing. 
And I'm kind of excited with the stuff being added to like the PC Game Pass and that, I think, down the road. Because it'll be like a great uh, excuse for me to maybe do some video revisits on some of the other Blizzard games. And kind of like show that off and talk about it more. I'm missing metals. That's weird. Airship critically damaged. Well, do I have anything that can fix this? How do I fix this? I don't know how to fix this. How do I fix this? Is there like a fixing thingy on my ship? How do I make a fix thing? My ship is dying. Uh, can I invent something that fixes my ship? Repair patch. Repairs object. I have repair patches, don't I? Is there something else on my ship that's damaged? Does not require repair. 92% health. Everything else looks good. It was just the front of the ship that was like on fire. Okay, maybe we should stop some of these things that look like asteroids before they kill me. This is your first Diablo game? Well, if you enjoy it, make sure you go back and play like Diablo 2, because that one, or Diablo 2 has a resurrected, because that one's really great too, yeah, on that one. The removal of the drive? Removal of what drive? Yeah. Okay, so that's looking good. That's looking good. Uh, is it critically damaged or is it just kind of getting hurt? 93% health doesn't sound so bad. Okay, what was I trying to do? Storage box, no. Oh, I was trying to or build the last part of this, wasn't I? Yeah, this last room. Air max speed limited. Oh, I've, I've reached my weight limit? Can I increase my weight limit? I think you could with the turbine, couldn't you? Oh no, the turbine just allows me to fly higher. Oh, okay. Anyways, we need to go and reach uh, the double light. That looks cool now, it's all like red skied. Sweet. That's really, really cool. Well, I'm glad that Game Pass is allowing some people to check out these games for the first time, but I, I will note that Diablo 4 was, was well worth the, uh, the the purchase regardless of it being on the, the Game Pass, but yes, it, it is nice that that opens new doors for people to check out games. A Legacy of Kane Resurgence. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, that's that's a tricky one like Square Enix getting bought by Embracer kind of made that more possible But the fact that Embracer is struggling so much right now makes that less possible Which is a bit of a shame Okay, I don't think I'd be able to get back up to the ship I'm just gonna lower that actually nope. I gotta raise that up a bit Am I gonna be able to jump back in there? Why did my ship move back? My ship wasn't that far back. Oh, no. Well, I'm screwed. Expand the airship balloon? How do I do that? The build menu. I don't see an option to expand the balloon. Use the airship builder to expand the balloon. Oh, it's always a chill time. I like to think we always have a nice time out here at the streams. Uh, am I supposed to, like, interact with it? Build a new wall on the ship. Increase the location. Use the airship builder to expand the balloon. I, I don't really have an option. Hmm. That is the airship builder. Anyways, let's, uh, let's, let's scavenge for stuff. Oh, that was weird. Diablo 2 really old? Well, they did Diablo 2 Resurrected, so, um... It's actually... Oh, this is the new gardening update right here, guys! See, look, there's a gardening plot. Uh, yeah, no, Diablo 2 Resurrected came out, like, two years ago? Like, they remade the game. It's really, really great. Go check out the review of it on the channel. It's... Yeah, it's quite something. You can switch between the old and the new visuals at any point. It's sick. I love remasters that do that. Rotten food. Yum. I guess I can take this and clean it though, right? Hmm. Hydration level is decreasing. 
My character is getting exhausted. Hmm. Wait, you want like a retro computer? Is that what you're talking about? That's kind of interesting. Anyways, guys, it's been a while again, so be sure to like the stream. Subscribing's great, and uh, it is sponsored, so if you have a moment, please check out the link that's pinned on the comment side or the video description. It takes you to the Steam store, so you can check out the game if you're interested in it, which I think is pretty great. Xbox and hitching in games? That's really up to a developer, honestly. Oh, come on! <laughs> that was one of the most awkward lazy deaths I think I've caused thus far. Okay, so how do I expand my airship, though? It doesn't really tell you. Ex use the airship builder to expand the airship, which is what I have. This is the airship builder, right? Unless there's, like, a different airship builder? Expand balloon. Oh, I need copper. Damn, where do I get copper from? I guess I gotta find a place for that. Balloon core upgrade. Oh, I have enough for that. I just don't have enough for the expand balloon research. Okay, so that takes helium. That takes helium too. Okay. I guess we should not. We, should, we want to expand the balloon, so we want to want to do that. Uh, how are we doing on fuel, actually? 45, 54, we're very good on fuel, okay. I should probably clean some water. Well, we don't need it right away because I got all this extra water saved up. Uh, we should clean the food. A lost lobster prepper. Pepper. Oh, a lobster pepper. Hmm. Sounds kind of good. Because we need food. Health is kind of a little low too, but we do have health packs, so that's not the biggest deal in the world. No, now we're out of health packs. All right, let's uh, let's get to that next uh, blinking light, I guess. Which apparently we're looking for copper. Which I think all this stuff is just synthetic stuff, anyways. Xbox. Well, you gotta remember there's less players on Xbox, so developers tend to focus more on PlayStation and Nintendo ports, right? It's a bit of a shame, but it's just kind of how she goes sometimes. Those are CRT monitors. Oh. I, I don't really get the craze for CRT monitors. They're heavy, toxic machines, but I, I do understand the upscaling stuff of it, but man, those... Oh, those would be heavy, and I think they're expensive now, too to get uh, CRTs, honestly. But, uh, you know, happy hunting if you want to get one, right? Okay, so we're looking for copper. I love the red hues. Doesn't that just look incredible? Like, the, the way the buildings and everything like that? It's gorgeous. The best CRT ever made. Are you talking about that one that was, like, the only one that hit, like, a higher resolution? Yeah, 1440p. I, again, I just, I really don't genuinely understand the the craze for CRTs, but all to their own, right? CRTs look great at all monitor, all settings. Ugh. Again, they're heavy, toxic old screens. I just, yeah, I, I don't get the appeal. Ugh. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, so we need copper but I don't know where we're gonna find more copper from bring back the light gun games uh they 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 kept trying light gun games people never buy the light guns or there's not enough people to buy the light gun games to make them worthwhile sadly it's a very very niche thing very very niche Peripherals in general, we're, I think we're kind of beyond the peripheral era of gaming because it's just like there was tons during the 360 era and, and none of it really fully long term took off and you don't see too many companies trying since. Yeah, you know, we even had Guitar Hero fail to come back and yeah. I just, I, I don't see peripherals being super popular anymore. 
Unless it was like a universal one that worked on all devices, but that rarely, uh, basically just doesn't happen ever, right? Alright, well that was, was that it? This is like, I, I need, I need copper. I need the resources to keep me going. Hmm. Well, that guy doesn't look very good. Motion persistence. I, I, again, I, I'm, I'm aware of, of CRTs and, and what they offer, but in, in my opinion, they're just they're not they're they're a thing of an earlier time, and they're just not worth it to me. Again, weight, the locked resolution at this point. And the fact they don't make them, and yeah, they're just, they're so toxic. Here your peripherals are going for a lot of money. Yeah, they're, they're a rarity, but it's not like a, a general popular kind of thing, right? It's, like I said, of its time almost. So, that's, that's not copper, is it? No, it's just a synthetic case. Ah, man, I need copper, dude. I need copper. Hmm, I will consume the boiled lobster pepper. Yum. Alright, off we go. Now that I think of it, I, I think I missed the pre-order on that PV or PDP guitar. I don't know, I, I might be able to get one now that... Kind of, uh, because I don't know if you guys heard, but Turtle Beach bought PDP. I should have bought Turtle Beach stock. It's, like, small, but, like, I think the potential for it is endless going forward. Yeah. Overcooked meal requires electric cooker. Oh, good. I don't suppose there's, uh, there's copper over here, is there? Because I would really, really like to see some copper. Alright, let's land on one of these artificial lily pads. Enshrouded. Uh, we did a stream of Enshrouded when it came out. I like the voxel destruction. I found some of it a little tedious. And uh, I didn't really know what I was doing right off the bat. But uh, I, I kind of liked Enshrouded. It was a neat thing. Yeah. Damn, I'm just like, I really, really need to get some copper so I can expand my balloon. And then I can have more stuff built on my balloon. So I'm, I take it this is part of the garden update, is all these, uh, these new food things. Oh, my inventory is full. Oh. A patat? Cooking it. Oh, you need a garden to cook that. I never made a flashlight either. Circuit boards... You know what? I need a, uh... What the hell is it? I need a... Crate, so I can put crap in it. Yeah, I, I really... I miss the Guitar Hero and Rock Band era. You don't, you don't need to tell me. I had a lot of fun playing those back in the day. I'd love to do streams of those, but, uh... You know, the copyright claims would roast you alive. Small storage box. I don't think you can find copper in the sky, can you? Yeah, Bateman out there, timing out all these poor people that are just trying to support the chat. <laughs> tisk tisk. Anyways, it, it happens. Uh, okay, small storage box, done, okay, we need, yeah, I don't know where the copper is. A circuit board? Oh, so it's like a GPU and stuff like that. Yeah, I need, I need copper for like everything. A knife, I need polymer for a knife. Crossbow and bolts, a small garden plot. Hmm. That actually seems like a good thing and then I can make my own food here, right? This game's actually got some really good survival mechanics to it. Sounds like the running and reach. Does my guy sound like he's dying? Remember, that was my feedback for, uh... 
what was that game called? Spec Ops The Line. I was part of the, uh, what was it called? I was, I was part of the working stuff on that one. Like I, I did the preview, the multiplayer previews for that one. And, and I helped, uh, with the, making the sprinting not going <gasps> for like loudly for like ever. Yeah. That was my contribution to that game. Got a t-shirt and everything from it too. Is this game good so far? I actually really quite like it. I mean, obviously, this is a sponsor stream, but I, I, I do genuinely actually kind of like the vibe of this one. It's it's really, really quite interesting. It's it's a very different survival game, because you're up in this, like, you know, you're, you're up in these skyscrapers, there's, like, a biological thing going on here. I actually really like it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So I'm looking for copper. Which I saw on one area, but I don't know where that area is anymore. What is this? Thick creepers. You need a knife. I need a lot of rotten food, too, because the rotten food I can make the, uh, the garden plot with, which would be great. Burned out on Pal World. You know, it's okay to take some time off of the game. You know, you don't have to waste, like... I don't know, or burn out the game really fast. You can always, like, move on and come back to things like Power World. It's okay. You know, take a break and come back to some games. Ugh. It's perfectly normal in gaming. Take rest from things. Oh. Uh, yeah, I need this rotten food. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Hmm. A sun melon that's not like destroyed. That's really good. A nice. Storm is coming. A storm is coming. Well, that's not ominous at all. Have I faced a storm in this game yet? How do I get back up to my ship? I can't seem to jump on this lily pad. And I haven't made a flashlight, so I can't see anything. Okay, it's it's looking scary out here, guys. We need to we we need to get back to the ship. I, I could barely see because the light's so bad. Oh, there's a... Where, how do you get to that ladder? Over here? Ah, fuck. Yeah. Lightning strikes the highest targets. Lower Lightning strikes the highest targets. Well, maybe we, we shouldn't get on our airship right now. You got the case for your PC? Good for you, man. I have like a. I actually delayed building my my 4090 build a little bit so that I can get like a really cool case. And I I love it. It's like tempered glass. And you can like unscrew the sides and like open it up and stuff. It's beautiful. I always try to buy really exquisite cases for my PCs. I need copper. A thorn beehive. I need a knife and a crossbow to deal with it. Well, a bunch of bees ain't gonna stop me from gathering all of these resources. I just unlocked a glass railing. Good for me. I don't like the storm. It's really spooky. That actually is, like, really, like, thunderous and stuff. Storms are never fun, guys. Oh, jeez! And the thing is, we're, we're on top of skyscrapers, so obviously these are the highest points for lightning to strike. 93% health. Yeah, I, I don't know why the ship's complaining. The health of it's very good. What is this that I picked up? Is this like a like a wall thing? Like what is this? Oh, it's a poster. All right, cool. Yeah, that's that's cool. This is a very unfriendly store. <laughs> I'm I'm making a garden thing here. 
What did I think of Pal World? I I love Pal World. I, I thought Pal World was a lot of fun. Oh! Yeah, I, I had I had a great time with it, but you know I I did move on to other things too, right? But uh, yeah, I, I really I really enjoyed what I played at Pal World. It was a lot of fun. Now I can start growing things. I can do a grow up, guys. Do I have seeds? No, oh, I do have seeds. Do I have any fertilizer? This is like the new update to this game is they added, uh... Well, they added the ability for you to, uh... Do gardening. This is actually like a new feature in this game. Helium fuel, lobster pepper seed. That's what I should have cooked, lobster pepper seed. I don't have any more health packs, though. Ah, oh, get, get flattened. Oh god. Yeah, copper is such a valuable resource right now. It's actually kind of amazing how much copper is like people break out of like they steal it from like electrical things and stuff here because it's worth so much money, which is funny. It's weird that we've gotten to a point in like you know, our human history where like basic materials are now overly valued and people like do stupid stuff to get them, it's crazy. They will destroy infrastructure to get their hold on things. Uh, but no, I, I do genuinely need copper, because I need to be able to research to expand my airship so I can make my airship a little larger. But I'm having a hard time finding it. I mean, I did find it, it was in this other area, but I didn't, like, pick it up, because I didn't think I needed to go out of my way to get it. And it's like, ugh. Damn. Okay, should I go a little higher? I'm kind of worried about hitting these crafts. All right, here we go. I mean, I think my airship's coming along nicely. I'm gonna collect these metal things. Subnautica? It does have Subnautica vibes. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I don't know, I was sort of expecting a run-of-the-mill kind of survival game, but it's actually like really genuinely different. <laughs> like it's, like, I, I don't know, I haven't played a survival game like this. It's really, really interesting. Like, look at all the, the crap floating around and stuff. It's It's got a very distinct look, I will give them that. Fuel depleted in one of the engines. Uh-oh. And it even knows I have multiple engines here. Yeah, the Subnautica games are pretty cool. I think they're working on another one, aren't they? Like a third Subnautica or something? Yeah, but I always I thought, I thought those ones were kind of interesting titles. Now this piece that like swings around in the air, is that? No, that's not anything. For a second there, I thought that might have been like a copper that we could pick up. Is there anything I can cut in this place? That's glass, that's metal. More metals. That's synthetics. I need bloody copper. The same studio? I actually, I don't think so. No, I think it's a different studio that made this one. I didn't actually really check out what their other games were. I was just kind of more focused on this one specifically. Fuel deplenished. Okay, well, we're gonna have to craft some more fuel. I feel like as long as you're not too lazy and you watch things in this game, you should be able to generally keep your, like, ship moving and everything, right? Yeah. Oh, that guy looks dead. That's a synthetic case. Ah. <sighs> I don't know, I just I feel like I'm gonna have a really hard time finding copper. And I had copper earlier. I didn't think about like needing it. I was like, oh we'll come across copper all the time. Now I'm sitting out here scavenging looking for it. 
I just unlocked new technology. That's great. I should really have also researched a flashlight so I could see when it gets scary dark out. Yeah. This poor chump right here. The poorest chump of all, though, is the one that doesn't like the stream. <gasps> Subscribing's great, donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. There's the Discord for Stream Alerts. And again, this is a, a nice sponsored stream here from the developers. So if you have a moment, check out the game on the Steam Store and grab it if you like it. It's 25% off till April 11th. And it's, that's in the video description, and uh, as a pinned comment, uh, at least take a look at the page so the developers know that some people were intrigued by, you know, me checking this out. Okay, so we got synthetic fuel. Are you out of fuel, or is it? It's the other side. Okay. God damn, I need copper. Hmm. Libu. Okay, so we got a double blinking light, so that usually means good stuff. I like how there's all these dead bodies. Were these other people like me that were sent here to try to, like, figure out what happened, or what? Also, I don't think we're progressing very well on the whole figuring out who, you know, this disease for humanity things and stuff like that. Yeah. UE5? UE5 is, is very, very demanding on uh, current gen. It's too demanding for current gen consoles, honestly. Copper! We got copper! Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about, guys. We got copper! A couple of drinks, Veylander, in this economy. Does it mean my ship can be larger now? Weight limit reached. I thought I increased the weight limit. Oh, man. Oh, no, I haven't. I didn't, uh... What was it called? I didn't build the upgrade, right? Transformer. Airship builder. Electrical cooker. No, I think the research just makes it larger, doesn't it? Hydration level is decreasing. A viewing corner. Ho, oh, ho, that's fancy. Expand balloon. Okay, I need more copper. Alrighty. That's fair. Look at me, there's copper everywhere on these wind turbines. Same CPU, yeah, apparently 10% CPU, like, overclock on that, which I think is going to be more for ray tracing stuff, but... Honestly, we'll have to wait and see what they do with the PS5 Pro. Because it's like, yeah, uh, you know, like, obviously, frame rate stuff, it's a little disappointing this gen, but resolution-wise, too, on some of these games, if that GPU can actually get you to, that, like, closer to a 4K, that would be kind of wonderful, too. Because, like, some of those games just look awful. You know, those UE5 games just look rough. Visually, even. Hmm. What was I just looking at? Condenser bottle thing. Oh, no, no, the builder thing. I okay, expand the balloon. I need helium. Oh, God. I'm missing helium. What an odd thing to be missing. Okay, a flashlight. Might as well research a fa flashlight. My food source is not looking good. Missing water? What? Oh, now it's cooking. I was like, I put water in there. Lobster pepper. Can I just eat this lobster pepper? The immune system has a viral infection. I have a viral infection. Great. Might as well just eat this one, because it can't get any worse, right? You drink this little canned water. I mean, once you get the viral infection, it's like, you know, can't get any worse. Harvestella. Oh, I don't remember hearing about that one. Okay, let's let's see if we can uh, get over to this, this ship and kind of, or this wind turbine thing and kind of land on it and see if we can get anything good out of it. What an 
Now it's all like yellow and stuff. Man, they have such interesting like vibes to this game. Like just aesthetically, it's so interesting looking. Skybot's just doing its job, you know, to try to get the good word out there. I mean, if anything, we should be very appreciative of these sponsored streams, you know, it helps support the content and the work I do a lot. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Turbine damage, max altitude is lowered. What? 90% health. Are you kidding me? This is like barely injured. If anything, my character is more injured than anything there, right? Like my character, I'm like, I'm dead. I'm like 10% health. It's like. Symptoms of viral infection are worsening. Immunity at risk. Oh my god, the viral infection is killing me. Okay, there's like this piece of copper right there, and it's like just out of the range. I see that copper and I'm just like, oh man. Yeah, that's copper alright. Too bad I don't have like a hand kind of thing, right? Yeah, I think that's blood at the top of my screen. I think I'm dying of my infection. There we go. Ooh, there's more. Nice. Oh, come on. Capture the damn copper. Good, 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 good. There's more copper down there, too. So now we're looking for, like, one more helium thing. Can't get to that because we don't have a knife. Oh, <gasps> helium! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I can't remember, what was I doing? Is it the building tool that allows me to do it, or is it the research thing? Ah, it's the building tool. Aha! I have made the airship slightly more powerful. You know what that means, guys? One more room! I can have 900 pounds on this bad boy? Oh, we can build anything now. We don't really have anything new to build. I guess we should research stuff. Our research station ran out of... That's actually kind of funny. Kind of ran out of stuff. Okay, so we can make a knife. Which we don't... We don't have a polymer? We do have a polymer. Oh, we don't have that. Okay, we don't, we're missing that. A rainwater collector. Actually sounds kind of useful. A motherboard. Okay. Plastic scraps. A fabricator. We really, we don't have the technology to make a fabricator? That's weird. We need, uh... What, what was the thing it needed? A circuit board. We have a lot of circuit boards in here. There we go. Because I'm just like, we might as well have a fabricator option, and then we can make a second fabricator, and then we can be building multiple things at the same time, right? Makes a lot of sense to me. Research finalized. Okay, so we didn't try to get in here. I really need, like, a health pack. I'm, like, I'm really dying here. Also use a flashlight. Like barely see what was that old canned food or old canned f water? Probably old canned water. Yeah, it was. Like I am gonna die. Ooh, data card, nice. Metal floor set slash ceiling. Good, 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 good. Hmm. Cause it's like I don't know if it's dark for you guys, but it's dark for me. Uh, more helium, nice, because then we can extend or research the thing where we can do more extensions to the actual aircraft, which is good. 
Yeah, it looks like there's lots of lore cards too, which is nice. Do you think these moths will eat me alive if I go near them? A cup of noodles and some... Oh, well, I was mixing you up there. I thought Veilander was having a cup of noodles and drinking. I was like, that's quite a, quite a combo. Nice. Alright, so we got that. We did that. I guess we go on to the next area then. It's like, my character, I'm actually like starving. Did this grow food yet? Or. I don't know if this grew yet. Did this, did this grow? Pick up. I don't want to pick up the item, I want to pick up the food requires water. I thought I had lots of water, no? Yeah, I got, I got old canned water. I got, oh, empty bottles. Oh, okay. Bottle the water. And then we'll let the water clean itself. And we'll research the... We're missing one more. I thought we just picked up helium, no? Well, that's disappointing. Okay, I'm like dying of, of food starvation. Lobster seed. God, I don't really have much more. I don't have any more food. I will have to go to bed because I need more energy. But I'm like dying of hunger. My like health bar is like minuscule right now, which is not good. Research and craft a location radar. Oh, that's what we're supposed to be making? Where's the location radar? A first aid kit. Oh, that would have been freaking helpful. Location radar. We don't have the location radar technology yet? That's weird. How come I don't have location radar? Hmm. I guess I haven't scanned enough stuff. Hey, right, the dirty water's in here. All right, guys, it's time to go to that next location. Ooh, there's a green dot. I don't know what that means, but I'm kind of interested to find out. So yeah, you could just kind of fly, like, endlessly and just come across all these creepy places. It's great. I think my character has become a bit of a night owl, almost. Like, this just seems like a really large environment. I don't know if it's just hard to tell, because, like, you know, it's like this endless, sprawling, like, uh... Cloud land, but... Definitely feels expansive. Wouldn't it be wild if we came across like people or something? That's what I always wonder about with these survival games, is like just coming across like you know, those people that are like trying to live and stuff. Do these grow yet? Another minute and forty six seconds. I'm starving to death. <laughs> I'm starving. Oh, we have these seeds. I don't have any food left. That's not good. I'm, I'm gonna die of starvation. You know, it's always a joke until it happens to you and you die and you're starving. You're always like, who dies of starvation? And it's like you live in a cloud world where you can't get any food, it kills you. Hmm. You really enjoying Diablo 4? I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's it's a lot of fun. Like I said, you like that one. When they add the other ones to Game Pass, you make sure you check them out too, because they're all really great. Uh, just remember that Diablo 4 is like a multiplayer kind of take on Diablo games. And, yeah. Hmm. Oh, you just got... Oh, you're, you're right at the beginning of Diablo 4 then. If you were uh, drugged in the, the little house there, that makes sense. Alrighty. Okay, here we go. Plastic scraps. Nice. Should have made a flashlight. Hmm, glass components. 
Okay. Looking for like new stuff to scan, but not really coming across anything, eh? Bloom door. Okay, well we can have a bloom door now. I was really hoping for some food so I don't die of starvation, but I don't think I'm going to come across it, to be honest here. Anything down here? No, nothing? Okay, well, it's a bit of a pointless area. Mm hmm. Well, I guess not every, every area you go to in a survival game is going to have stuff going on, right? I think my food is done. No? How much time is left? Oh, still two more minutes? Oh, damn, dude. I'm gonna starve to death. That's no fun. Nobody wants to starve to death. Oh, location radar. There we go. We can actually make that, because we need a location radar. Alrighty. Yeah, so I thought there was, like, a green dot in the distance. Oh, there is. Cool, because we've never seen a green dot. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the green dot is specifically, but I'm kind of looking forward to finding out. Circuit board and glass, which I think we have glass and circuit boards in here if I'm not mistaken. But we might be missing glass. Yeah, we need one more glass. Ugh, that sucks. My food levels are critical. I'm going to die of hunger, which is kind of depressing. It looks beautiful, though. I really like the style here. Hmm. It is, it is actually like an interesting game. Visually and stuff like that, I think it's really cool. Okay, let's get over to this tower. Oh, thanks for the donation there, Caleb. Cookies be crumbling indeed. Is it weird that I'm, like, glued to this screen and I don't have to look over to see all your comments? <laughs> Always appreciate it. Cookies be crumbling. Yeah, that takes me back. Hey, is that some copper? Yes, happy Easter weekend to you guys all, actually. Hope everybody has a, a nice time with, with the family and whatnot. What were we missing? It was uh, glass, right? Yeah, we're not getting any glass here. Yeah, you don't see the cookies be crumbling thing pop up very often. I'll have to take a second to like Caleb's little note there. Yeah. God, my hair looks weird. <laughs> okay, there we go. That looks better. <laughs> I, I can't I can't see what I look like either when I'm like this because it's like off the screen. I really need like a multi-screen kind of setup thing going on, honestly. I should probably reinvest in that. Ugh. Too bad you can't get gobs of like glass and stuff. Although I don't know if a glass gob would, glob would be the best thing to run into. High moving, or fast moving glass smashing into your face. Probably not the greatest of things. The summoning of Lilith. Oh yeah, I mean, if you're checking out when she comes out in the church and stuff like that, it's great. Can't forget how great the story stuff is on that one right off the bat. Screen's getting really, really, really low, guys. I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying. Hydration levels depleting. I think the food level depleting is probably the, uh... The worst situation here. I'm, I'm barely hanging on. I really need us some glass. That's glass. How do I get at this angle, though? 
starvation is it a critical condition I don't suppose there's like food here is there well, we'll grab what we can before I die of starvation I have died man I sure like dying it's like it's my pastime Okay, at least we know there's some glass here that we can get if we uh, situate this uh, thing right. It's Was it down below? The Predator game? I'm so excited for that Predator game. I actually really like that game on PlayStation, and it had like no content or support for it, which really bummed me out because I actually thought the idea of it was really good and it was really fun, so I'm kind of happy that they're going to revisit that one and... Uh, touch it up for the current gen and release it on Xbox. I'm surprised that they're allowed to, considering PlayStation had uh, paid for the exclusivity on that one. The publishing rights, so I'm kind of surprised they were able to get that back. Maybe PlayStation just didn't care anymore, I guess? I don't know. Nah, this is an area... Fuel is depleted? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. We're running low on fuel, and we're running low on your likes on the stream, so be sure to like the stream, subscribing's great, and uh, the donations were very appreciated today, you're very kind guys, but again, this is sponsored, so please do check out the uh, link for the Steam store page for Forever Skies, the game is 25% off till April 11th if you want to Check it out, see if you like it. Is that glass that I got? Yes, I do think this is actually like a pretty cool looking kind of game and a very interesting experience that I think you'll like. Uh, we gotta get some synthetic fuel on this one. Yeah. Repair patch, the extractor, the... Was I trying to get the sticky note? Nope, I wanted to make... What was I trying to make? Did I already research it? And I was trying to build it? Oh yeah, the location radar. I need one more glass. Oh my god, that kills me. Okay, so we just gotta shift around already. Hmm. Because I'm like, I think if we set this up right, we can get that glass, right? There we go, we got the glass we're looking for. Nice. I don't know what a location radar is going to do for us, but we're getting it done. An advanced insect lure. Mmm. That actually would be pretty helpful. Okay, so how do we upgrade the balloon core? What does that allow us to do? More parallel balloons to increase lift capacity. Huh. That also sounds very helpful. Very helpful indeed. Hmm. DLC where you're playing... Uh, there is a... I, I'm pretty sure there was a DLC thing for that game that had Arnold in it, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can play as Arnold in that. Like, they had different versions of Arnold. They had, like the modern time Arnold and they had like I think retro Arnold I yeah and I'm, I'm pretty sure I had that character in that game but it was a long time ago so I don't specifically remember but yeah I'm pretty sure Arnold was a character in that that you could get what does this do do I put it on the outside of the ship I guess I should put it where I can kind of see it when I'm like driving I guess like Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of like a little annoying in my eyesight there, but not bad. A flashlight. Yeah, I need a flashlight. What was that other thing we just advanced or just uh, discovered? Because I'm like, we should probably use that as well. Flashlight, at least now I'll finally be able to see when it's dark out. Hmm. 
Okay, we're gonna go to that green station, because I've never seen a green lighted station. I don't know what that means. It, it's a cool idea that they came out with this the lighting system in this, too. Because it gives you, like, a direct idea of where you're headed or where you've been. Oh, it was the balloon core. I need helium and synthetics. Okay. Very well. All right. Uh, let's go and check out this green place, because we haven't been there before. It kind of wrecks my nice HUD having this, like, uh, square thing here. Cure my flashlight. Ooh! This is artist comments there distracting me as I drive right into this, uh... Whatever that was. Am I stuck? Uh-oh. Can you take me higher? I, I can't seem to actually go any higher. That's a little weird. Reach the exclamation marker. Is there like a lower part of it I can reach? I, I can't go any higher. Let me take a look at what we need here to kind of... I'm trying to think of what I need to actually expand, like, how high we can go. Increases the lifting capacity. More balloons to increase lift capacity. So that I mean I can like, go up higher by that much? Or... Because I'm like, we can also build a basic turbine, right? Plus 20 up to 300 meters. Because that should give us enough too, right? That will allow us to kind of get up to that level. And open. Actually, you know, at the Costco today, they had gold bars and stuff. You could buy silver bars. And I was like, ooh. But I'm like, I don't know what I'd really do with that. Where's SpongeBob? Just because it's yellow doesn't mean SpongeBob's here. Is it gonna build? Hurry up. Oh, did that food ever finish? Yum. I got a viral infection? I thought the whole point of cooking the food this way the was so that I didn't get a viral infection when I ate stuff. <laughs> Wasn't that the whole point of cooking the food in this matter? Needs to be planted. Yeah, well, I want to plant it in the, the small... Oh, it does. It's, is that a large seed so it doesn't fit in there? Well, that defeats the purpose of that. Okay, let's see if this turbine here can take me higher. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, like, get on the outside. Whoa, 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 whoa. How much health does this have? 60%. Oh, jeez. That's, that's terrible. Anything else really damaged that I'm not aware of? 0% health, well, yeah, that's, that should be fixed. 89%, okay. Okay, well, how am I supposed to get out there and, like, attach this? Can I just, like, attach this awkwardly somewhere? Yeah, good enough for now until we're outside and can play around with that thing. Okay, let's see if that can take us up higher. Just trying to get to one of those platforms, you know how it is. This is what game grindy? This one just seems like your regular, run-of-the-mill kind of survival game. Honestly, it's no grindier than anything I've played like this. <gasps> I still can't get high enough? Oh my god. Okay, I need, I need one more of these things. We don't have the supplies. Metal and electronic elements. We don't have metal. It's like right there. Could I jump on this turbine and then... Okay. Probably a dumb idea, but, uh, well, I don't think I can jump out on... Let's, let's see. I love trying to come up with sol solutions for stuff. It was called Yellow? You guys are really doing that song. Oh my god. No! Well, that cures the viral infection problem. <laughs> hmm. Can I, like, move where this is? 
Container not empty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, look at the water on the side there. That looks lovely. It actually looks kind of realistic, the way the water's going on the metal like that. That actually looks kind of realistic. Huh. Because I'm like, if I could like jump up on here and I could jump up on there. Okay, let's let's take the fuel out. And then we'll just move this slightly. Yeah, we'll just, uh, you know what, we'll just keep in the inventory for a sec, and uh, then we'll just put it back on when we need to fly away. Well, that didn't work out. I love how you go to third person when you die like that. That's kind of funny. Can I not just uh, really awkwardly jump on top of this? I can! Ha ha! Greenhouse Tower. Oh, so this must be part of that most recent update. New objects requiring scanning. Well, I'll bring out... Virus activity is increasing. Threat of permanent immunodeficiency. Dirty water container. Well, I might as well just drink some of that, am I right? Oh, there's glass up here. <gasps> Metal objects, too. Ooh. Oil barrel. I could collect oil. Interesting. That's why you can craft mo multiple water things, is so you can collect oil and stuff. Interesting. Take biomass fuel. My inventory is full? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, when, there's there's good stuff here. I gotta, I gotta go back to the ship and, and throw some stuff away. Would I define art? What would you define as art? Probably art stuff. Okay, what was I missing that polymer thing for? Plant oil. I can invent plant oil? Oh, polymers. Yeah, a knife. That's what I needed. I needed a knife invention. Okay. I definitely need another turbine, though, to go higher. Or maybe I just need to be able to make the... Uh... What am I thinking of? I, I think I just need to be able to build the balloon core up, so I just need more helium in that. Did I actually add... No, I didn't make space in my inventory. One second, helium, old food ration. Oh, well, that would, that's handy. Condenser membrane, we'll put that in there. We don't need the condenser membrane right now. That should be enough space. All right. Let's, let's do this uh, danger kind of thing. Let me on top. There we go. Right, let's see what else there is to scan here. At least we got a flashlight now, so it's not dark anymore when we go into dark, creepy places. Okay. Polymers, biomass kits. What else we got in here? I guess we probably do need oils, honestly. Sensual oils. Well, doesn't that just look like a beautiful, chaotic mess, doesn't it? That is just gorgeous out there. Like, I, I just, I really like the vibe of it. It's got, like, this weird kind of, like, obviously there's some kind of biological, like, thing that kind of grew and messed up the Earth's, like, biosphere, but... Doesn't that look really neat looking? Like, it's it's very distinct. Hmm. At least I quite like the, the aesthetic they got going on here. Hmm. Strange. Really, really strange. Okay. Let us continue. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see what we Ooh, we can go down! Is there anything worth getting down there, though? I think that's just if you land there, you can climb up this way. This is why I need a knife, is so I can get into places like that. Ah, that light is actually really effective. Wouldn't that shovel come in handy? Or, actually, the, the pitchfork? I think a pitchfork would come in handy. Well, Earth has had better days, what can I say? 
There wouldn't be an adventure if Earth was in a <laughs> in, in a good situation, would there be? Eh? Yeah. Is there no way in unless I destroy the polymer outside? Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. Is there anything like good in there? I don't know. What is this? I unlocked a filtering bottle. Oh, cool! So that my bottle will or automatically filter my water and stuff. That's awesome. Save Earth. Save the planet, Captain Planet. I hate when I keep getting all these viral infections. I should probably stop eating things, but you know how it goes. I have no control, no self-control over my eating of chemical things. Oh, what is that? I guess that's why we have a scanner, eh? Coffee nut. Huh. This is like a coffee tree? That's kind of cool. I take it we need to build that knife. How? Oh, so it was a viral infection that caused that? Not me just like walking into that glass like a dumbass? Yeah, yeah, viral infection this, viral infection that. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Oh, we're, we're doing an interactive point. Ah. Immunity decrease? Uh-oh. Oh, what is this? My inventory is full, so I can't take this beautiful poster. There's no power for this. Alright, we got a... We, we need space in my inventory. What can I get rid of to uh, make space? I guess I can eat this stuff and further destroy my immune system. That's probably a good idea, right? At least now we can take this beautiful poster. Oh, my water's low. Okay, well we have old canned water. Yeah. That's not a problem. So somewhere we need power for this uh, this laptop, and I, I don't know where the power thing goes. Then on like the top area. Hmm. I think we need to get to a higher level. So someone that was surviving was living up here. I feel like you would just be dying if you were stuck in this place, honestly. What's that, like, highlighting? Where does this power go to? I'm having a real time, hard time following where the, uh, the power cord kind of, like, goes to, if that makes sense. Is it up higher? Ah, uh, here we go. I think I was supposed to add a solid state, wasn't I? The hell is this? A Lulu cricket grass thing? What the hell? I, d I, d I don't like this. I, d I, d I don't like this thing. I, it's like a little crab thing. It, it bit me. It, it bit me, guys. I thought I was supposed to power this up, not depower it. This flashlight is remarkably useless. Okay, we're, we're gonna go back to the ship, because my inventory is full, and also I literally cannot see because it is too dark. Yeah. And I need a knife. I honestly need a knife. This is the most complex structure we've actually landed on thus far. Yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, it's been a while again. Be sure to uh, like the stream, subscribe is great. And again, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the link to Forever Skies on Steam in the video description, the pinned comment, everything like that. And, uh, you know, just check it out and see if it's something for you. It's 25% off until April 11th. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I'm missing polymers, plastic scraps, and metal. I don't have polymers? Really? I need one more polymer, six plastic scraps, and I have all the metal I need. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I want to use this poster. I want to learn about crossbreeding. <laughs> ah, these are the very large posters. This crossbreeding poster is massive. Oh. Oh. What did we learn today, class? Save the planet. You guys want to save the planet? I don't. I want to hack the planet. Da -da 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 -da. Hackers. There we go. I've got these cool posters. A picture of flowers that have gone extinct. Well, that's kind of sad. Well, these flowers will forever be in bloom on my ship. My spaceship. Hmm, okay. It's actually kind of lovely looking. I think a lot of things would be extinct on Earth if we were having these kinds of issues. I should really stop drinking or eating this food that's killing me. Yeah, probably be a good idea. Eh? Water purification? I want to purify more water than that. Dragon's Dogma? It's a very demanding game, the, uh, like, CPU-wise. Very, very demanding. Is this done yet? Oh, I see the issue. I picked up all of the contaminated water, and now I have it in a jug of dirty water. And because I have partially clean water, a little tiny bit, I can't do anything with it. I can't drink out of that? Can I, like, empty this water? That was a waste. Huge waste of water. Alright, so I need another filter. Ah, <sighs> good thing we got all these filters sitting around. Okay, so I still can't get a knife. Because I don't have... Uh, one more polymer. I think I have plastic scraps. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Anyways. And this purifies. We're gonna go check out this area where this thing is. We need to find this power cord. Hmm. Oh, that tree looks beautiful at the top of that building. I don't know how it grew up there, but it looks beautiful. I don't know. I think a lot of people just kind of, on PC, still, they fall in the pitfall of assuming they can play anything, right? But uh, that's, that's the thing with PC is that it doesn't always, you know, not everything always works on everything, right? Okay, so there's these power cords. Where did the power cords go so that I can, like, power this goddamn thing? 
Of course, it's in this hellish looking building. How do we get into this place? We need a knife. Damn it. Okay. If I were the one missing polymer I needed to open this thing to get the power to read this laptop, how would I go about doing that? I need one more polymer and I need plastic scrap. Oh, are we actually working to cure the virus? Okay, this is very important then. I need a polymer. I only need one, guys. Hmm. I'm trying to save the day, and I don't have a polymer to save the day. We're going to have to come back here because, uh, yeah, we can't get into this building without a knife. I need to be a knife man. I need to go stabby-stabby on things. I don't think consuming the rotten food would be in my best interest, to be honest. Take crossbow bolts. Well, I guess I could technically create a crossbow if I have the materials. Probably not to do this. Oh, oh geez. I'm starving again? But I just ate all of that rotten food. It just makes me more hungry when I eat the rotten food. Oh no. Dehydration is hitting me hard. Food is always the thing that makes you sick in this, eh? Alright, so we can't get to this laptop, but we'll have to remember this position. Because we have to come back here and get that laptop information, because we need to develop a cure to save humanity. Or save Earth? I guess if you save the... Humanity by saving the cure, you save the planet. That nah, nah, something like that. I'm gonna put my jet back on. We're getting out of here. Maximum flight speed increased. Nice. Cause we can't make a crossbow by chance, can we? How am I out of plastic scrap? Okay, well that sucks. Oh yeah, we can't get high enough to even collect those minerals, can we? Let's see, maybe we can collect some of it. Some good glass, always need glass. Oh, we can get all the glass, that's what I'm talking about. Glass is a very helpful crafting mechanic. But it's uh, plastics is what I'm missing. Plastics. Which I'm just getting metal and glass and copper out of this. Which is good, because I need that stuff, but you know, it's not specifically what I'm looking for. Hmm. Good, 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 okay. Let's see what we can make. Nothing. We need more helium. How am I always out of helium? I thought we literally just picked up helium, did we not? Okay, is there anything we can research that would help us? Polymers. We need plant oil, which we don't have. A green colander? Okay. Alright. Uh, let's get going then. A little disappointed we couldn't find that research because I'm sure that would have helped us, uh, you know, save the planet and all that. Yeah. Yeah, the poor PCs, they, they can't do everything forever, sadly. And I'm still out of food. I thought we picked up old earth rations. Ah, uh, maybe we didn't. Wondering if we... Oh, now it's daytime. That was a very sudden change of day. 
Is that an object we can go into? No. Oh, we're not going very fast because I didn't add fuel back in like an idiot. Dying of food again. Ugh. Or sorry, hunger. Always dying of hunger in this one. Hmm. Yeah, it never hurts to revisit the cyberpunk. Oh, there's like a question mark over there. I wonder what that is. That looks like a different type of building we can get to. This is a very large game. Does it have like an overall map? Because I'd love to see just how like actually big this place is. Because it just, it seems to go on for kind of ever. Yeah, Jeremy Lee's female V is the only V. That interview has really just been doing so well. It's actually awesome how well that video did. I wish all my videos were that popular. I would be smooth sailing. Smooth sailing indeed. Hmm. Jesus, it takes a while to get over here. I've actually got like a pretty fast speed going too, don't I? At least I think I do. Yeah, I, I got it going up to like 15 or something like that. Oh, one of the engines is out of fuel. One sec, I gotta make more fuel. What happens if you run out of fuel when you're in the middle of air? I don't have enough synthetics. Oh, by the gods. Good thing there's literally just synthetics in the sky. Don't worry, guys. If I starve to death, I'll just spawn here anyways. It's not a big deal. Part of the natural cycle. Don't worry, I die like this all the time. Virus infection detected. Did I pick up with the dating game? No, not at all. <sighs> I like lack the the care and the intention on or the attention honestly to it. I sit there and I'm like, at the end of the day when I've like worked and you know done the whole day and stuff like that, I sit there and be like, man, I should have taken some time to play with the dating apps. Ugh, I was so bad for that. Like I just like completely lost all my like focus and intrigue on it. God, I hate people. It's not my fault. It's other people's faults, honestly, in that regard. The way you know you get treated and you interact with other people is just it kills the vibe. Oh, come on, there's got to be more synthetic fuel than that. All out of range? Yeah, okay. I need that synthetic fuel, but it's, it's definitely something I need to get... Uh, put an effort into. Well, not that I'm not putting an effort, but, like... Just really busy. Like, I've been just going hard for, like, two weeks straight here, so I haven't had time to do any, like... There we go. Now we're cooking. See, now I'm going up to like 30 kilometers, which is still kind of slow, but I guess if you think about it, the fact that there's like all this stuff in the air and these clouds are moving so fast, I could see how that would impact your ability to like go quickly, right? Hmm. Well, we're almost at our destination. We're almost there. But yeah, I should... Uh, it's, it's just, it's so hard to do everything, you know what I mean? Like, it's so hard to do everything. Cyberpunk? Yeah, Cyberpunk's great. It sucks to be bladed so much right off the bat. Can I not go higher? Wow, that looks mysterious. I think I could land on this, I, I think, or get close enough to it. That looks like a landing pad sort of thing for me, I guess. Wish there was something a little sturdier. What am I playing? It's a game of cloud-based survival. Can I get, like, a little closer to that thing? Like, a little closer. Ugh. 
Like I, I want to like land somewhere. Oh, there's a landing pad over here. We'll just we'll just do the landing pad. That makes a lot more sense than me trying to like sketchily dive onto like the side of like a pipe or something. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Highly contaminated area? Well, I'm gonna sleep the night away so it's daytime. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. Ooh, there's new objects to scan here. Do I have water? Risk of starvation. I'm starving to death. Lovely. Of my last condenser module. <sighs> I just, like, I have not figured out the whole eating system in this game. Like, I just, you know, I, like, I guess I could lure bugs in and stuff, but I just feel like I die. Okay, so what are we here for? We need a polymer and we need plastic synthetics so I can make a knife. What the hell is this? I'm dying really wow, okay, well this is a bad place. I guess this is not an area where we are able to visit, because I do not have the ability to deal with that. That's kind of funny. Alright, let's let's go to this uh this structure over here and see what we can find. No, that's where we came from, wasn't it? Yeah, we came from over there. Okay, so we got... No, we didn't. Can we come from over here? Yeah, we came from that side, right? So we gotta go... This, this area is new. I think. How much did I pay for the, the Elgato? See, that's the thing, Caleb. It was priceless. No, it didn't cost me anything. I just asked Elgato, and they're like, yeah, here you go. And they just sent it to me. The bunny, she's in a weird mood. Well, that's how bunnies are, right? Sassy little things. Or so I've heard. A bald patch. Ugh, that's not good for any animal like that. I don't think we went to this one. Kind of a little worried that we did though. No, this this looks different, I think, right? Like this looks like a different one. Hmm. Fuel depleted in one of the engines. Oh my god. Out of range. Uh. Good thing these synthetic balls are everywhere. Because, you know, you run out of fuel, you get screwed. Actually, when is, is is tomorrow like a holiday for people? Like, I don't know if it's this weekend, right? Like it's the Easter holiday or something like that? You guys know what I'm talking about? Priceless in this economy. I get quite a lot of stuff for free, honestly. So what allows me to live is I keep things relatively affordable for myself. Printing completed. Yeah, you get a lot of opportunities when you, you grow your channel and stuff, honestly. I just wish we could get, you know, more views and higher stuff for everything, and I can do even more things, but, you know, you get what you get. Which is hopefully more of your likes on the stream. Be sure to like the stream, subscribing's great, and again, it's sponsored by our Forever Sky Pals, so be sure to check out the 
Steam link in the video description where it's a pinned comment. It's an easy way to support the content, guys, since, uh, you know, it tells them that I'm of value in that, so I always appreciate that if you could take a moment to click the link and check it out. Were we here? I, I, we have, like, a big map. I don't think we went to this one. I think it was a different one, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I think it was a different one we went to, right? I think we can land on this other one. We need to, we need to raise the, the height of this thing again. Just England gets it? Oh, the English. I can't remember if we were on this one or if we were on the one over there. Oh my god, I literally don't remember. It looks different. Yeah, this, this, wait. Were we just on this? I don't know if we can go in a sec here. I don't know if we can get on this. Can we, like, shoot this? <sighs> yeah, I don't think we're here, but I don't think we can get on this object. Hmm. Yeah, I know, I'm starving to death. High contamination zone. Risk of immediate death. Abandon the area. I can't get to any of these areas. They're all too lethal for me. Anyways, we should probably move where this giant thing is. Maximum flight Looks so awkward reduced. there. Alright, okay, so what do we need to do to craft another one of those big-ass fans? Machine parts, metals, which I feel like we have. What, I, what did I want to do? No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to increase the core of the balloon, so I need helium. Okay. Synthetics, easy to get. Helium, we need. Okay. We'll just go visit one of these buildings and see what we can get here. There's synthetics everywhere. It's, it takes two seconds to get that. Too old for the forklift business. In this economy? If you ain't forklifting, who is? I mean, as long as you don't spill things. Spill things in a forklift. Well, I mean, it's, it's plausible. We need synthetics up the ass, but we also need like a lot of helium. Oh, no, not a lot. We need like three helium, but I don't know where we're gonna get that. Ooh, we can take out the structure in the middle there. That's good. I'm dying of starvation. I give up on the food system in this. It's, it's too aggressive for me. I have a risk of dehydration. That I can fix. Food, I, I can't seem to, but uh, dehydration, I, I definitely can. The water is full, so is this uh, growing or no? There we go. Okay, so where are we headed in the immediate future? So there's a skull there. Oh, these are places I've died, so I ha have I been here? No. Or are those just death areas? Yeah, I wish I could blow this map up so I had like a better idea of where exactly I've been. They've been bringing the 2K sports to Game Pass for a while. There's just good deals doing that. I'm dying of food hunger. I have died. I had it coming, guys. At least I'm not playing this on an aggressive difficulty to the point where you die, you like, die, die of food things. Okay, one sec, I want to grab this synthetic stuff. Who has capybaras? Oh, the zoo game, yeah. I haven't gotten a code for that one yet. Working on it. We might get to check out the uh, the Suicide Squad game. I was like, because they sent me an email, they're like, hey, we're doing a big update, and I was like, are you guys doing codes now? And they're like, well, we've redone what we're doing for code systems, and you have to do a new form, and I was like, hmm, okay. Calories level is decreasing. 
when are my calorie systems de depleting? Am I right? <sighs> yeah, capybaras are fun. If you like capybaras, guinea pigs are like little capybaras. I'm actually excited for that tennis game. I hope I get to cover it. It'd be a lot of fun to stream. Whoa, the building gets knocked down? That's crazy. That's so cool. Okay, apparently there's a structure coming up. I don't know if we can get on this. I see the green building. I don't know if we can get there. Do you think this building will collapse if we take out the structure and the gardener game? I still need to do a video on that one fantasy gardening game. Fuel depleted in one of the engines. Oh my god. When, when isn't there fuel depleted, am I right? Kind of like a zen time playing this. I don't know what. What is Infinity Siege? Yeah, I think a top spin stream would actually be like a really relaxing, fun kind of time. What was I wanting to make? Oh, yeah, a uh, synthetic fuel. Oh, the virus was neutralized. That's good. Nobody likes it when you're dying of viruses, am I right? Printing completed. Hmm. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. Hydration level is decreasing. Ugh, when is my hydration level decreasing? A lot of metals. Okay, so I don't know if I've been here before, but let's take a look at it. Regardless. Yeah, capybars really are just like big guinea pigs. They're adorably hilarious. Okay, do I have lots of space in my inventory? I do, okay. So we're looking for like a polymer if we can find it. And, uh, plastic stuff. I think my scanner's almost broken. Which is kind of funny. Polymer! Now we just need plastic. Now we just need plastic. What is this? Is it plastic? What is a synthetic case? Okay. Hmm. Oh no, it's a beehive thing of stuff. Oh, that's not good. Well, they stopped attacking me, so that's great. Okay, so we got lots of polymers. I just need plastic. Weak, weak. Oh, hello there. I need a knife. I can't get a knife without the uh, freaking plastic stuff, right? Or is that something else? Hmm. Hey, look, garden gnomes. I can take the garden gnome? Hell yeah. Can add that to my ship. Can't collect any of this stuff without a freaking knife. <sighs> okay, let's go check the ship for a second and see if it is just plastic we're missing. I was gonna be like, oh, where's my my thing there? I didn't realize I had climbed so high up to get to this place. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, let's let's see if I can make this knife yet. I need plastic scraps. Where where do I get plastic scraps from? Ugh. A 
thought I had lots of plastic scraps. Okay. So I'm screwed because I need that. At least we can do the advanced thing there. So what else do I need? I got the polymer, I got the metals, I need plastic scraps. And I need them now if I can. Oh, I forgot. I can put my... I'm gonna put my gnome in here. Da -da 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 -da. This is my adventure gnome. Oh! There we go. I got a little adventure gnome there. Where can you play this? Currently, you can play it on Steam. And there is a link, and it's on sale, 25% off right now. Be sure to check that link out. Alright, so if I was a plastics, where would I be plasticking? Probably not on this type of structure, eh? Hmm. Yeah, it's just like I can't get anything done if I don't get this plastic stuff. Okay, so I don't see that there's anywhere else we can kind of jump to. Ow, that was unnecessary damage to my soul. Got all these crossbow bolts, but I need a knife. Hmm. Faster just to die and get back to my ship. Really is. <laughs> Alright, so we need to visit a, uh, a smaller structure, I think. Something that's not so grand in scale so we can get some plastic. Yeah. Let's go check out one of these structure things. You're glad Laurie's gone? Laurie was a huge, huge financial part of this site, or this uh, this channel, you know. We, we I never financially recovered from the uh, the hurt I, I got from Laurie disappearing. Yeah. This is such a moody game. <laughs> such a moody game. Hmm. Shame you can't get into these big skyscrapers. That would be kind of cool to explore those. Okay, I'm hoping we might come across some plastics while we're here. I can't remember if plastics are something I have to, like, mine from the walls, or if it was something that we were able to literally just pick up. It's been a while since I've been looking for plastics. I guess we should just go and call the Mean Girls. Ball. Yeah, those were the days. I'm sure Lari still pops around every now and then. Dun -dun 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 you never know who's watching or checking stuff out. You never know. I need brain cleanser? How do you get brain cleanser? What even is brain cleanser? I have meningitis? A bloom window. That doesn't help. I need plastic. My heart. I'm glad I've totally forgotten about that person. I don't think my heart even left either, honestly. Yeah, I can't get in there because I don't have a knife. I can't. Ooh, I need plastic. So badly. I'm dying of meningitis. Oh, what a terrible way to go. Bio Earth sucks. Oh no. Bio Earth has ended my life. I take it I didn't get a single plastic scrap. Where the hell do I get these plastic scraps from? Hmm. 
Maybe the two light building will have my plastic scraps. I got lots of other materials, it's just certain things I'm looking for. I wish I had a secret admirer, nah. I gotta get good for that. <sighs> okay, I don't think this has plastic. I'm thinking maybe the double light system over there will have plastic, but we'll stop here because, you know, it's on the way, so it doesn't hurt to take a look. What did I need for the, uh, the, the extra, like, build-up thing? Helium. Oh, yeah, I need a helium. Ugh, God. Well, the only way I'm getting back in there is by dying, I guess. Jeez, I didn't realize I was that high up. Is there, like, a storm going on? Huang's here? Well, we really are quite fortunate. Huang, make sure you check out that steam link for me. Throw me a bone. Synthetic fruit. Oh, come on. I need... Uh, condenser membrane? Why can't I pick the condenser membrane up? Inventory full. Oh, okay. So we'll just use that and we'll take the membrane because we need to filter the water. Good old bed. Still no synthetic plastic. It's driving me crazy. What are you? Synthetic case. But you're not plastic. You're just synthetics. Oh my god, I need some plastics. Is this similar to Halo? Yeah, I... Nah. Creepy vibes though, right? Ooh, we gotta get into the Sapphire level too. We're really not attracting too many, uh... New channel members, though, these days. What the fuck is that? What? What is this? What are, what are you? Uh, I can cut it with a knife? Oh. I'm drugged. So you can find a clothing exchange? Uh, well, I, I think my taxes are paying for your... Their clothing exchange their pong. Oh, I forgot. I can't get back into the ship because... Yeah, I gotta kill myself. I, I put the ship up too high. Yeah. Virus infection detected. Yeah, some people on the channel, they're really cool and then they get all weird and stuff and there's not much you can do, right? You never know how people are until you really interact with them long term. Main water collector. Okay. I'm not gonna collect those yet because I don't want to get a viral infection again. We're almost out of fuel. Helium. We have some of the helium we need. All these crossbow bolts I don't need. I need plastic. The irony of needing plastic on Earth, right? The fact that it should be everywhere. <sighs> Damn. Oh, we were talking about that Tobias guy. What, what a weird situation there. Good luck, Pong. Good luck. Keep paying those taxes. I gotta get on that. I actually gotta go pay my taxes and stuff. Anyways, guys, it's been a while. Be sure to like that there stream. Subscribe, it's great. Don't be afraid to become a channel member. Check out the Discord to get the stream alerts and all that. And uh, again, this is a sponsored stream, so be sure to check out the. You know, Forever Skies on Steam. It's 25% off until the 11th of April, and, uh... Yeah, give it a whirl, you know, check it out. Take a look at the link. See if you like the game, you know. It's cool. I mean, I'm a little diseased right now, but, uh, you know, it's a pretty good time.
feel like I'm not finding a lot of regular people resources that I need. I need plastic. And helium, actually. I do need helium. More than one helium, though, would be great. What am I dying of? Oh, meningitis and pyrexmia? Great. Helium fuel. Nice. Let's add a card. Machine parts. I need plastic. First I needed copper. Now I need plastic. Forever Sky. It actually kind of matches the name of the channel pretty well, doesn't it? Kind of matches the name of the channel. Yeah, he always said, what's Kraken Sky? Maybe he just decided he didn't want to be here anymore and needed some kind of reasoning or something. I don't know. It was really odd. I was actually a little hurt by it, but, you know, it is what it is. Ah, da 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 You can't win with people, honestly. One day, people are totally cool with you, the next they're not, and there's just, there really isn't anything you can do. Copper, copper, where the hell is the, I haven't collected a plastic in, like, forever. It's a glass. My world is all discolored. I will give it to this game's uh, color palette. I, I really love it. It's so random and distinct. Because it's constantly changing too, which is interesting. We gotta do post-apocalyptic, you gotta make it so that it can be fun and colorful. Or really gray and depressing, it depends on the angle you're going for, I guess. Man, I cannot... find... plastic! It's kinda bothering me. Meningitis is preventing me from sleeping. Oh, damn. <sighs> Meningitis? Man, don't you hate when you have meningitis and it prevents you from sleeping? What an inconvenience. Hmm. I don't have any fuel? Oh man. That fuel in that tank, that's weird. Always out of fuel, always out of resources. Ugh. Printing completed. Printing completed. Would I be heartbroken if one of my regulars just started verbally attacking me and just left? I mean, like, honestly, it, I'd probably, I wouldn't love it, but it would just be, like, part of doing this kind of work. You just kind of expect it almost. What the fuck? Why can't I move? My ship isn't working. What the heck? Why doesn't my ship work? Does not require repair. Did I damage something? I don't understand. Why can't my ship go? That looks good. That looks good. Does not require repair. 92% health. 90% health. I don't see the issue. Why doesn't the ship take off? Oh, something must have been damaged, I guess. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Very strange. All right, let's extract some of these materials while we're here. Yeah, 
that deep skin for gaming industry or for like just doing streaming and stuff. People could be terrible. Be like that in real life, or not real life. They could be that in your like romantic life, your work life. It's just part of you know you have to be able to handle that kind of stuff. Don't let things bother you too much. Hmm. Okay, well, we have tons of copper now. It's the plastic synthetics that I literally cannot seem to get. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of, like, what possibly could have co or, uh, plastic synthetics on them. Let's see if we can find what we're looking for here. <laughs> that last map they added for 2042 was so eh. Yeah, this is derivative and lazy, honestly. Get all these factions, man. Got so many factions, I don't even know what to deal with it. I don't need repair patches, I need plastic. I'm at the point where, like, I literally don't even remember how you get plastic in this game. Do you craft plastic? Has that been my issue? I just forget that you craft plastic? I don't think so. I think you just come across plastic. Plastic! There it is! Okay, so I found some plastic. That's not enough. I don't know how much plastic you need for a knife, but obviously I don't have enough of it. There we go. Man, this meningitis stuff's driving me crazy. Hmm. Okay, so I need four more pieces of metal scrap. I can't even sleep and my character's tired. I can't sleep because I have this meningitis. Looks like another one of your run of the mill turbines, but it's got a question mark. Did I inquire about a suicide squad code? I, I put in, uh, I filled out a form about one because they said they were doing them now, but. What is the issue now? What are, what are, what are, what is our problem? Why are we climbing? Is this as high as we can go? Can you not take me higher? Hmm. Yeah, we can't actually get that high. What, what are we missing to do the, uh, the balloon thing? Oh, we have enough helium. We just need synthetics. A ton of synthetics. Oh. Damn it, we need synthetics, guys. We need them now. My inventory is full. Oh. Okay, we'll just put some stuff in here. Oh, I just used my first aid kit. Oh, damn it. Oh, my inventory is full again, because I got all this... I need Synthetica like crazy. Aggressive and angry. That's only saved for those games that piss me off. I can't believe Fallout 76 became that. A little disheartening. The shovel? That was Ryzen where we spent three, four hours looking for a shovel. Crazy. I felt pretty victorious when we got that shovel, though. I really did. I was like, this this is victory. 
Has anyone been counting? I need like 120 synthetics. I feel like I'm nowhere close though. Then I can make my ship go higher, I think. Without the need of these ridiculous fans everywhere. What did it just say? Oh, risk of starvation. What a shocker, eh? I have 86. Okay, we're getting closer, guys. I just need another, like, 40 more synthetics. The shovel game was funny. What was that other one that was really funny too recently for a stream? The Final Fantasy one was goddamn hilarious, but there was another one too that was... not so long ago that was funny. How many plastic scraps? Not enough. I need another box. <sighs> She's gonna take more of my plastic scraps? God damn it. I need more plastic scraps, not less. <sighs> I don't even know how to do timestamps on this one. I just kind of like explored places and did stuff. synthetics. Ugh. It's gonna be really sweet because we'll be able to go higher with our ship, I think. Am I thinking of the Inquisitor? What about the Inquisitor? That one got a little... I don't know if that one was funny. That Like, it started out funny, but that one got really kind of annoying towards the end of finishing that one. I'm trying to think of what else was... There was one that was, like, genuinely hilarious. 116 in synthetics. Ah, right, there we go. What? Oh, I have to, like, attach this balloon to this balloon? Well, how the fuck? Does that work? Okay, we're, we're gonna have to land somewhere because I can't attach this balloon to this balloon while I'm like in the air like that. Can I sleep now or does meningitis still prevent me from sleeping? Meningitis is preventing me from sleeping. Great. Anyways, we need to find a platform we can land on so I can put this balloon down. Yes, guys, never forget the fun you had timing people out. It was, it was a great adventure. This giant lily, lily pad looks like a safe place to land. Airships module critically damaged. Critically Airship damaged my ass. So how does this work? Do I just like... Do I have to like widen my ship a lot to make this fit on here? What the hell? How to? I think I gotta make another roof spot for it. Oh, of course. There's a storm coming. Great. Maximum flight altitude reduced. Maximum flight altitude increased. Now I'm gonna have to collect more synthetics because I'm gonna have to build rooms. Wait, now we're down to one synthetic again? I have to collect another 120 synthetic? Are you kidding me? I can't jump up here. You've... Got to go. Okay, 
Only you can stop the, that stuff. Yeah, we'll just put this right here. Doesn't seem like the laws of gravity and whatnot matter too much. Just, I can't get up there. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's see if there's any plastics here while we're exploring this place. I have no energy because I'm dying of meningitis poisoning. Meningitis poisoning. <laughs> meningitis poisoning. Okay. Hilarious. Somebody call Doctor House. Need to figure out what's wrong with me. The virus was neutralized. I'm sleeping? Why am I sleeping? Am I dying? I think I'm dying. I can't really tell. An old broken door that I can't get by. Great. I'm kinda hoping my meningitis kinda vanishes at some point. Oh, my meningitis is gone. Oh, so it was the poisoning of the weird creature that made it so that I have these weird colorful flashes of poisoning. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Ah, damn it. The storm is ridiculous. I think there's plastic scraps in there. Ugh. I don't know if I should bother is dying all this stuff. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And again, guys, don't forget to check out the Steam page for this game. It's on sale. 25% off till the April 11th. Or at least just check out the Steam Store page to help me out. Just literally clicking the link and taking a look. It's all it takes for you to make a difference out there. Synthetic fuel. Yeah, okay. I need plastic. One sec, it sounds like Chrome is cooking my thing again. Nope, it's not Chrome. Okay. You never tell. Oh, I forgot that it's off the ground slightly. Ah, oh, jeez. I have meningitis is back. I just got rid of meningitis. Okay, I, I need to collect more of this synthetic crap. I need 120 of it. I need 120 more of it so I can make a knife. Why does it take so much to... No, not to make a knife, so I can make the balloon. Because I need the plastics to make a knife. How do I not have the stuff to make a knife, man? This is killing me. If I play Breakpoint? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Might be a Ghost Recon Future Soldier stream coming up. I've got like a 35 part walkthrough for that, and I want to turn it into one long stream. Yeah, I want to condense more of those old walkthroughs I have. Why? I don't know, I feel like I should before deleting them. This feels like the right thing to do. Also, I really like Ghost Recon Future Soldier, so I think that would be a fun stream. How much do I have? 71? Oh my god. Good thing there's all these synthetics that fly in the sky. Let's try to not. <laughs> I love Skybot, it's so funny. Oh, come on, I just need a little bit more synthetics. Which I don't even think I could build, because I think I'll have to land again to build this thing. Why am I having such trouble sucking up the synthetic? Oh, my inventory's full, that's why. I was like, why can't I do this? Oh my 
god, that's why. I'm like, there's all these materials going by, I'm not collecting any of it. That would explain it. Okay, 100, 106. I need, literally, I'm so close. What's with the urge to stream Future Soldier? Oh, no reason, I just... I don't know, I was kind of looking at my videos and stuff, and I was... I don't know what I... There, there was something I was thinking about Ghost Recon, I was like, oh, Future Soldier! I was like, I haven't thought about that game in forever, and then I looked it up on my channel, and I'm like... A 35-part live stream or 35-part walkthrough, I'm like, I think I could cut down on that. And then have less videos on the channel. I was like, I should do that. Why doesn't that fit there? Oh, it's because it's floating in the air. Yeah, we're going to have to land to be able to do this. Oh, okay. Probably should grab some more just in case. It, it is like sub Subnautica. It, it definitely is, but you're in like the clouds. It's actually like a distinct survival game. It really is. Fuel depleted in one of the engines. God fucking damn it. <laughs> ah. How do I keep running out of fuel? Always out of fuel. Well, my st I don't think I'll stream Hot Wheels, but Hot Wheels was fun. We're getting dust damage? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Dust damage in this economy? Ship was damaged. I think we should probably get up higher. Venetica. I don't know when a Venetica stream will happen. Someday. Someday, perhaps. You know I'd like to. Like I said, I, I always dream of a point where we have enough people watching the streams all the time that I can do whatever, but I don't know if I'll ever get to that point, honestly. I do the best I can. Uh, there's a landing pad. I want to see if we can add this goddamn second engine here. Venetica. That's actually such a funny video. I don't think many people checked it out, but yeah, Venetica was hilarious. I think that's the people that did Risen too. Or Risen as well as like they did Venetica. I really, I don't have enough aerial to actually climb up on this thing. Oh my god, that's why I need the second thing on the top. Ugh. I need somewhere where I could land and add this to my ship. This is really driving me crazy. Because it's like, I can have enough, like, oomph if I add my second thing, but I can't find a place to land to add my second thing. I wish there was an easier way to get on the roof of your ship. There should be like a, like a ladder or something. Stairs. And there's nothing nearby that I can like land on? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna run out of fuel by the time I get over here. I'm gonna barren wasteland this place. Hmm. I just want to add this stupid second thing onto this thing. Fuel depleted, uh, of course. Which puts me further behind on my stuff. <sighs> Man. 
That's so rough. Do you have fuel on this side? No, no fuel at all. No wonder it's taken so long to get places. The scoring stream. Oh my god, with Snozzle Wazzle? That was funny. I don't think we can get high enough to actually land on this thing, can we? This is driving me crazy. Because I'm like, I just need some basic stuff and we've been flying around forever. I can't find any plastic. I can't find any, like, landing pads that I can actually make it to. The irony of being able to reach this landing pad as soon as I'm, like, literally able to just add on to my ship is kind of driving me crazy. Turbine is damaged. Oh my god. I literally, I, I just need like a little, little higher. Just like a tiny bit. You know what I mean? Like, it, I just need to be allowed to just... Oh, there we go. This one over here we can reach, I think. Here we go. Why is everything fucking purple again? There we go, guys. Now we have two of these gigantic jet things. Okay. I want to see how high we can fly now. But we can't fly any higher. What was the point of doing that thing? I, I thought we could fly high because I got two balloons. What does the second balloon do for me? But what is what is the point of this this second balloon? But what, what like what what does the second balloon do for me? Plus five hundred up, plus four hundred up. I think that's just more space I can fit in here, like more stuff I can put in. Uh, yeah, it would actually work pretty well as a co-op game, wouldn't it? Anyways, guys, I, I think we've gone as far as we can with this one tonight. We saw some stuff, I built some things, I've got a pretty cool little flying craft. I hope you had fun taking a look at this. Again, check out the links in the video description all that. It takes two seconds to take a look at their page, see what this game has to offer for you. It is on sale 25% off. And a thanks to the company for sponsoring the stream. Always appreciate it, and it's great. When we're actually able to get stuff like that on the channel, it's always appreciated. Have a good one, folks.